I mean, who really needs sleep? Like, for real. Ooh. He says when he almost yawns and breaks out his own fucking ribs. Oh, dear. How we doing, chap? Good. Your brain fucked at the moment, and you need more coffee. What? What is it with you people and needing coffee? We don't need coffee. I've never liked bitter things at all. 
It's why life is suffering. <laughs> Sup, name's Rack. I'm a coach, and this is the rest. How you fucking doing? Yeah, I swear my camera is brighter than it was before. I actually don't understand how anyone likes drinking coffee. It's like HDR is off. I don't even know how that happened, eh? Like, I didn't change anything. This is obviously the remnants of the, uh, the April Fool shit. Yeah. It's, it was like this when I, when I used it in Discord the other day. And, uh, yeah. Resolution is just on default. It's just on default. No change. Because I never had filters on it or anything. Yeah, it's a Logitech. It's a C920. Hello, Swaker. How you doing? It's just... It just seems to be... Deciding that it wants to just make me look anemic. I'm just... <clears throat> I'm just clearly dying here. Alright. Happy Friday, chat. I'm stoked because my missus gets a couple of weeks off after today. So, yeah. Life's going to be smooth as hell for the next few weeks. That is the joys of. It's 20 bucks US. To skip the queue. What do you mean it's Thursday? I told you. If I told you once, I told you a thousand times. I'm the main character here, mate. You follow my time zone. That's why you're all my faithful slaves. This is this is exactly why I became a streamer, so that I would have people simp to my time zone. Apparently. <laughs> Bro, time zones are like, are just so difficult to manage sometimes. I've converted Zev successfully. To be fair, it's worked for a few people. Zev's just the latest. <laughs> Honestly, if any of you were like Central or Mountain Time, though, I'd be suffering. Absolute suffering. It's just plain weird. Oh. <sighs> Oh, they don't do daylight. Cool. Yeah, we have one state in Australia that doesn't either. And they give a shit for it. Wait, Rick. Thank you, Kaisune X. I'm assuming that... I'm, is that pronounced correctly? For the 20 bucks, it just says VOD review. You could, you could at least put something funny in it. You can call me Kai. All right. I will call you Kai. But I like reading names in full when I uh, when I get the donations. But yes, it's fine. I, I assume you'll be a regular now, so it'll be right. Want something funny. You want something funny. You want something funny or I, do I want something funny? Either way, I will start your VOD momentarily. I'm just going to get through the intro. <laughs> so, welcome, one and all. Welcome to... My VOD review stream. I'm insane and I do free VOD reviews, which is why people uh, feel pity on me and send me $20 so they can skip the queue. <laughs> okay. 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 Actual intro. So 
Yes, my name is Rack. I do VOD reviews. I'm a coach. I've been coaching for a while. The main thing is that I try to still provide free VOD reviews because I do believe everyone at least deserves some semblance of help. So I try to cram as many VOD reviews as I can in a day until my energy levels give out, which is unfortunately a bit more commonplace than we'd like to believe. But you know what? That's just the nature of the beast. So essentially, I will collect all of your codes as long as they are ranked games and feature the criteria that I asked for, which is your rank, roll, IGN, sense, and DPI. Obviously, ignore DPI for a console enjoyer, but, uh, you know, reasons. Um, and then, yeah, I'll place it into a queue and I'll review it on stream as it comes up. You'll be pinged in Discord when it is your time to uh, be reviewed. If you happen to miss it for whatever reason, you can uh, still catch them on YouTube. They will always be exported to YouTube. Obviously, the ones from this week are a little bit delayed because I had to edit a few things out of them because, you know, oopsies, etc. Uh, so that's just taking a little bit of time, but you'll be pinged when they are all done and timestamped as well for your viewing pleasure. So they're all there. Now, in saying that, if your time is precious and you want to skip the queue for whatever reason, you can simply donate $20 like your boy Kai has done, and that puts you to the front of the queue. And that will naturally, uh, yeah, it will catapult you to the front of the queue, make your life much easier. We will naturally uh, try to do as many VODs as possible despite the sellout queues, but if you are wanting to sell out because whatever reason it happens to be, I, that is perfectly fine by me. I will still get through all the VODs anyway. So obviously if you don't have the money and you are, uh, you know, obviously taking advantage of the fact that this is free, I encourage you to just be patient and you will get those as soon as possible. The only time you ever don't get reviewed is if Blizzard randomly shoehorn patches into the into the game. But as far as I'm aware, there's no patches until next Tuesday. So we are okay, ladies and gentlemen. All oh, right, I can't do that with Discord open. <sighs> You changed your mouse DPI VTW. What was it before? And what is it now? About to go into your thing. Oh, the guy's in my stream. Oi, right, just read what I said to you, Mr. Wife Lever Enjoyer. It's a freaking rarity that your team will ever only need throughput healing. And even then, in that case, people will just take Moira. So just put that put that to work. 800 before now, it's 1200. Okay. No worries. No worries, mate. Like I said. Oh, yeah. And just a quick note, as, I, as I've said before, this is all the front from the blank. English isn't your first language. Oh, that's fine, bud. If you'd, if you'd said so the first time you asked me, I would have just explained it a little bit more, but I was in the middle of setting up for the stream. So just hang out. If you've got questions, I'll answer them here. It's much easier than typing while I'm trying to set up. Welcome to the welcome to the roast, mate. Holler in. But yes... Uh, don't forget, this is all the front for the brand. So if you're looking for private coaching, you can find all that information on my website, rack9.net. I'm thinking of finding a way to actually like putting the guide into, into the website rather than, uh, like elsewhere, um, like Google doc or anything like that. I feel like there's actually a way to sort this out. So yeah, we'll figure it out. I also need, if you are in the stream right now and you are speaking, uh, and you are keen enough to actually give a first look at some sections of the guide, can you DM me and I will do that. Could do YouTube link. I am not, I'm going to just put this out there. There is absolutely no universe where I am writing this as a script. This is 40,000 words, Sweeker. Unless I have a full on editor to do that. I, there's no way. There's just no way that this is possible. But yeah, it'll either be a Google Doc or a thing like that. So I can't do I can't do it in video form without an editor. I really need a freaking editor for that. It's it's gonna take too long. Viewable region will probably be annoying on the site. I'm not even sure. Rack, who am I choosing as a mod? I will have that sorted out later on. Ruby could do script reads and customs. True. <clears throat> How do the VOD review work? I've uh, just mentioned it before, but the, yeah, the idea is that. I get your vods, I put them in the queue, and <laughs> Meg, oh Meg, yeah, I put them in the queue and I take care of it as time goes along. Need your rank roll, IGN sense DPI plus the ranked code in my DMs, and I'll add it to the queue. All right, so yeah, front for the brand, etc. Go subscribe to my Patreon. You know, you know all the good stuff, chat. You know how this works. Go do the thing. Um. 
can you delete Nightbot messages? As a mod? Smile? You know what's better than a Q page? I'm fucking right. You have a screenshot? Yeah, put it in the meme channel. Hundo, hundo percent. Hundo percento. All right. So yeah, first VOD is Kai, because Kai has exercised his right to set out like an absolute buzz. Let's see. Bronze three. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's see. So... You have the same sense... Wait, you have the same sensitivity, but with a different DPI. My friend, if I were you, I would have definitely only adjusted the sensitivity, but why is your sensitivity so damn high? Do you have... Do you play on, like, the tiniest bit of desk space or something? Do plays on a piece of sandpaper. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Right. Going crazy. Everyone's going crazy. It's like prerequisite for the stream. Alright. So Kai, do you play on a piece of sandpaper or something or what? Your sensitivity is 15 with a DPI of 1200. Why would you up your DPI? just works for you my friend not to be <clears throat> not to be rude but if you're idling in bronze i wouldn't say it's working for you and as you can see we are drawing circles around your target already do you actually not have any death space is that what's going on there actually the spin was correct well done spearing him into the wall was right but you had to make sure he gets stuck to it so you can shoot him straight in the head there's absolutely no need to step away from this when you are a tank. You should be running straight at them. Dead ass. Run at them, and then if your armor depletes, use your... Use your fortify. So you got the right idea so far. You don't have much space. Can you make space? Or is this like one of those things that you just cannot do? That's a good kill. Well done. You cannot. Okay. I would suggest... <clears throat> I would suggest trying to finagle a way to get some death space. You have to lift up the mouse more. I can't imagine having to do that for such small movements. That dude's on his own. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't just dash at him. Sup, Solus? Thank you for the six months. Congrats on your silver bin, bud. Don't you bin? Enjoy your most sex for keeping the dream alive. Where are your en Where are the enemies going? I understand your patience with this, but there's no not really a lot of reason for you to care about the enemy arisen. You should be caring about the squishies that are on the floor here. Like that's been done. But if you're at full health and full armor, there's absolutely no reason for you to not be spinning at this target right now and kicking your ass 10 ways from Sunday. Just seriously, just do it. Just straight at it, pin it to the wall with spear, and just give it the goods. If no one else is going to attack you for it, and you've got full armor and your fortify available, there's no reason not to. You're just kind of idling still. Also, if you ever are going to hit the end of the heat meter, just stop shooting. It's faster to let the bar go back down rather than you ever hitting and having to re reload air quotes for an extra three seconds. And yes, I do coach League as well, despite the fact we haven't got a lot of VODs lately. I can tell you're afraid to move and shoot because you are the most cement shoes looking individual I've seen lately. You are just hanging out on the spot. And you can tell this is a bronze game, eh? People are chasing the kill instead of just pushing the payload, which is literally at the end of the line. Just push it. Push it. There we go. 
But notice how little you're moving. This is actually a good play if you actually try to push him out the door, right? But you have no reason to fortify there because it doesn't actually add the full 50%. It actually just changes it from 30% from the armor reduction to 50. So you only get a 20% gain, which is not worth shit. That's why it's better to do it when you run out of armor or as you're running out of armor. So that you can be healed back into place. This is free though. Spin. Wait. I can say spin at them when they're in the middle here and just hit them with the fucking, with the ult. Spin. Spin and chase. Not like that. So in case you're not aware, I can tell you're very much brand new at this. So I'm just going to just make this very, very simple for you. The whole point of your ultimate, right? The whole point of your ultimate is to try and drag in as many people as possible. So the easiest way to do that is when you've actually got the opportunity. See how you're coming up like this? When your spin cooldown comes available, the idea is to actually dash up. Hang on, I'm trying to fix this. The idea is to use your spin to dash up into this clearing here. And then you, you press your ulti to drag everyone into this one spot. And give you free reign for your teammates to kick the shit out of them, which is perfect. But the idea is that you only need to let them... You only need to let the charge of this go on to about here essentially any further if people are still in it that that's fine but the idea is that you release it at that point or press the button again depending on how you've got it set up some people have hold some people have you know but yeah you press it again and they will essentially be low enough that you'll be able to clean a few people up on your own and that's mainly if they can't walk out of it if they can or they can dash out of it, like be a little less worried about it, but it's mainly to try and do as much damage in a fast, like as fast as possible. But yeah, if you hold it this entire time, you're not going to kill anybody. So don't mean nothing. Also, don't throw spears at the tree. We're not here to commit an ecological disaster. We're only, you only have to worry about other people. This is a spin moment. Spin, spin, spin. There you go. <clears throat> Remember, spin mitigates everything from the front. So, you want to use spin as often as possible. And then if your armor happens to deplete after your spin is off cooldown, then you use fortify. That's always the way to go. What the fuck did that tree do to you? Exactly! More overheats than ruby? True. What's up, M? How you doing? You got your coffee? What are you fortifying for? The other good thing to use fortify for is if you're actually like nearing the edge of like overheating. But the thing is that you're not going to get to that point generally. Cam intentionally. Oops, I forgot to turn it back. Thank you. <clears throat> My bad. You just woke up. Got to get that coffee in your hands. Yeah, where, where's the caffeine IV? So you got the right idea about the like the aggro use of fortify, but you still want to use it when you're actually like depleted on thing because the actual staying alive part benefits you way more. Now the unfortunate thing you need to learn about spin is that it, you can't backpedal while spinning because it actually p tries to propel you forward. So if you do want to actually use spin to go back like to go backwards fast enough, you will have to turn around at full pace and just zoink it right out of there. What the? I say you can't help them. That's that's not that's not your fault. <clears throat> Anytime someone says they have a new comp account, I always immediately want to know what happened to the old one. But I'm actually starting to think I can guess why. Remember that you're the tank in this situation. Spin will help you get in. There's no point in just standing there waiting. Just... If you need the healing shot... Oh, that guy's dead anyway. Fucking just go. Spin! 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 Towards the point! Go! Go! Yes! Go! 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 Yep! Oh, he knocked you in. Even better. Honestly, you could have held it for a little longer. Since it was very hard for them to get out of range at that point. But that's fine. It was a good... It was a good go. Was Wife Lever available at last year's April Fools? <laughs> 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 
clumps. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fucking tops right there. Oh. Fucking Lee Sin. Yeah, you kind of have to now, Solus. Master yourself, master the enemy. March release to season two. Yeah. It was J JQ first and then Ramatra right after. You believe with their left flashbangs? I fucking hope not. Okay, so this wasn't the worst half that you've uh, that I've seen, but I will make this abundantly clear. You are absolutely going to suffer if you do not actually attempt to engage, like, with your target. Like, wh whether it's the payload or, like, the enemy, whatever it is. You have to actually, like, attempt to move forward. You're just kind of hanging out, doing... <clears throat> just sort of standing there. You're just not getting anything out of it. By the way, it, I only found it hilarious because Solus actually does play Lee Sin in League. Not great, but I add. But he fucking does. Also, for the setup on this point, you really don't want to be past this this edge. You want them to actually come up to you and like have their shit packed in. But unless like you're actually capable of doing this door hold, which I don't expect that to happen in bronze. So yeah, because at this point in time, if you get caught out here by spending all your cooldowns, which you've done, <clears throat> there is now a chance that you're going to get collapsed on, and that's going to end in you being dead. And also, you have no reason to chase that tank. You should be killing everyone else on their team before their tank. Unless that tank is literally in your face, which he is right now, and now you have no cooldowns. You had Fortify. Just kidding. You lost it. Goodbye. At least you got rezzed, which is helpful. <clears throat> but that's exactly what an int looks like. You just... Hanging out, dying, for no reason at all. <laughs> but yeah, you don't want it to reload. You definitely want it to just go back. It's fine that you're using the payload for cover here, but I'm really not a fan of the way that you're spending your fortify, despite that. <clears throat> this is the strangest game I've ever watched. Like, they're literally standing back there just trying to snipe you? Nice kill. Remember that you are playing a character that has a projectile, not a hit scan, which means that uh, you will have to somewhat aim where they're going, not where they are, because you're, you're, all your bullets are going behind a target when they start moving like this. I don't understand. Like, why is everyone just standing still? Bro, if Ruby saw this, she'd have a fucking heart attack. I'm about to say, if you were if you were aware of the the kill potential there, you would be very much just charging that dude into his front door. This is giving me bronze five, five, six, I mean, it's bronze three, two, three. Yeah. <clears throat> no, it's not what that is, knight. <clears throat> so hit scan essentially means that if your t if your crosshair is on the target, right, and you fire, it will hit the target. There's no travel time involved. It hits immediately. I don't know about infinite flight speed, as Nida so eloquently put it, 
But a projectile essentially has to actually travel to the target rather than like just immediately going there. So your characters like Arissa, where you actually are seeing the, the projectile float towards the target means it won't actually hit on the spot. The enemy is looks like she's given up. Bro, it looks like she gave up yonks ago. I, I see Brigitte has taken over as the main tank now. Do a controller and never play a tank. I mean, it's fine, like, in regards to learning the input. I see no issues here, but the part I don't understand is why the enemy just appears to be doing absolutely nothing. Everyone's just standing there staring at each other. It's fucking weird. I mean, if you win off this, then yay, but just kidding. Everyone died. <clears throat> That's also a situation where you want to have your your things going on. Projectile is IRL bullets. Hit scan is COD guns. You know, technically COD guns are actually very fast projectiles. Smile. Depending on uh, depending on how you how you stick it. <clears throat> there are hit scan like things. Yeah, true. It's just one of those things, eh? Now, let's talk about your... So, if you're just starting up on KBM, right? I would sincerely recommend... Do I need to be a lose or a close game? Uh, I would rather they be a lose or a close game. If you send me a stomp of you winning, I'm not going to give a flying shit. Shit that comes out of your mouth is also really fast projector. I'm not entirely sure I, like, even if I, if I take that literally, that makes it even worse, M, when you say it like that. Anyway. <clears throat> Just on every front, that is horrible. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Smile. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah. The first thing is that you really do need some sort of space to actually play on mouse and keyboard because you do have to actually move your mouse in a way that allows you to actually aim at your target. And since you don't have a lot of space and you're playing on such a high sensitivity, it's going to make your life miserable. Now, I'm going to just show you this quickly because this happened as has happened a couple of times this week. But if you're playing on mouse and keyboard, you go to this options place here, the gameplay tab, and you go to this one down here, enable high precision mouse input. Make sure this is on. It will help you with a lot of the things in regards to like stuff. Another th no, not 3500 DPI. He just has a really high sense, and but he has a he has a normal DPI, ish. It's 1200, which is fine. As long as it's between 800 and 1600, I'm fine with it. I would prefer it be 800 or 1600, just purely for posterity's sake, but. Yeah, there are some people that use 3200 and I'm okay with it, but your sense has to match that. Now, for reference, since people are obviously going to ask, my sense is 2.1 on 1600 DPI. That's like about as standard as it gets, really. About, yeah, about as standard as it gets. And uh, enables me like to actually stay on target relatively well, despite my injuries, without, without worrying about uh, like, you know, <clears throat> without worrying about swerving off too far. And I've got plenty of space to work with here. I am going to end up getting a new mouse pad though. So that's uh, the plan in the future. But the problem is that if you really, does the DPI matter? It does for the actual, uh, <clears throat> for the tracking of the sensor, just purely for the sake of smoothness. If you're like hella old school, do you have to enable hyper? I, I check anyway, Swigo, because honestly, I just do not trust the settings to stay there, but I believe they're supposed to stay. I've ordered a new desk anyway and a new pad. Good. Hopefully, it's big enough to sort that out. But yeah, DPI matters in the sense of like smoothness, right? The the big the big problem is that if you go any like if you go any lower, it's like and obviously some old school players swear by lower DPI because, you know, that blocky feel is something that they've run with all their lives and that's fine. But the problem is if you go too high, it's very hard to have actual precise 
uh, sensitivities that enable you to actually aim properly. And yes, dirty mouse pads also fuck your performance, as Emily has learned very, very rigorously this week. Oh, you poor thing. So yeah, I really do recommend just actually figuring like your setup out. There will be a guide this week, hopefully next week, that will start probably showing those pieces off. You should have a look. It'll help you out. If you're looking at making a purchase, that will sort you out. And, I, and just so we're clear, I don't have any affiliate links at all. So you know. You know. Wreck, oh no. Oh no, what, Sweeker? <laughs> what have you done? You didn't have it on. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. But yeah, put it on. Save you a lot of trouble. But yeah, I don't like having that bulky shit on my desk. So I just have this little baby. Just dust it off as often as possible. Makes makes my life easier. But my plan is to obviously get a better, like a proper mouse pad. This is just a better desk thing. Thank you, man. Helped a lot. I'm glad I could help, Kai. Thanks for the 20 bucks. That saves me a lot of trouble. So you fucking rock. And I definitely want to see you come through in the future so uh with your improvements so let me know how you're going and bring back for more uh other things in regards to your actual gameplay though remember the cooldown order to save your to save your life because it makes it much easier playing a tank if you actually know how to use your cooldowns effectively and try to remember the difference between hit scan and projectile because majority of tanks they're all projectile play uh users except for junker queen if i got that right in my head oh no wait technically Ball is hit scan as well. Um, yeah, so just make sure that you are aware that you may have to actually go slightly ahead of your target while they're moving so you can actually stay on them. Easy. Oh, Morga. I keep forgetting about Morga. Fucking Morga is hit scan too. Yeah, good old Morga. Divis is a projector. He is a projector. His whole, his whole ass is a projector. <laughs> and Diva? Diva don't count. Also, hello. Hello, peep. I see you there. Am I feeling any better? Look, I don't know about in regards to everything going on. There's a lot of things I'm not sure of, but I am doing my best. I am doing my best, chat. <clears throat> but yes, thank you again, Kai, for your vote. And thank you again for the $20 you rock. See you again very soon, I'm sure. Now... Who's next? It is hardware based. Okay, cool. I had a feeling it was, but I just don't trust Overwatch to work when it says it's it's when it says it does things. <laughs> that's that's my issue, Suika. Like I I I am of the belief that it would have been. I just don't know if it actually works. <laughs> One with another stupid idea that I'm definitely doing. That sounds like you in a nutshell, Pandy. What have you done now? Wait, MVM, maybe it's not. See, that's the problem, Speaker. I can't tell whether or not it should or shouldn't be. If you turn it off and then go around to your other accounts, maybe it would be. But then again, you can't even, you don't even remember whether or not you did, or, did it or not. So, smile. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, back to the queue. Where did I finish yesterday, chat? Hang on, where's my DMs with Meg? Meg will tell me. Meg will tell me. So Sparky was the last one we did yesterday, which means I am up to Ashtray. It's your boy. All right, so young Ashtray. All right, so Ashtray is plat for dippers. It's time for the dippers, chat. DPS VOD Gaming. Plat 4. Fucking Plat 4. What was he last time? Is that an upgrade? Is he upgrading? Your milky dirt water has been required. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's about the right way to put it, yeah. Ashtray. Echo! All right. Uh, 
No, you cannot. You will be you will be removed immediately. <laughs> Don't get cheeky in my in my chat, peep. There's only one way to get away with that, and that is by buying the license. That's it. This is a, a DGen free zone. Only licensed individuals can use it, and the only licensed individual is Ruby. At this point in time. Swiggy, you're not going to know whether or not you've d you've done it or not if you've forgotten whether or not you had it hot on your other accounts. Uh, sup, Astro? How you doing, bud? <clears throat> nice spammy start, keeping our airborne goodness intact. You're saving for it. That's absolutely baller. <laughs> ah, yeah, so my original thoughts were correct. I'm glad. Why did you fly forwards? Astro, what are you doing? Astro! What the... Astray has decided that life is not worth living. <laughs> Why did you do that? There was absolutely no reason for you to do that, bro. I had so much faith, Astray, that we just decided, nah, not worth it. You're building a mini house. So what? The, the mini uh, shipping crate office for Solus wasn't enough. We're going the whole house motif now as well. <clears throat> you should have put the whole thing on the... Uh, Onto Diva there. Like firing that the explosive projectile at that range is actually just pain. So you gotta just try and at least like wait for them to come closer or just straight up just wait. Just go for it and yeah. You are flicking a bit hard to the side when you go for that, but that's alright. Kai, if you're still here, just as, a, as an example, as you see here, every single thing that Echo does is all projectile. Whoa! Nice dodge. But, like, if you compare it to, like, Tracer, who shoots essentially hit scan, that's an easy way to, like, look at the difference. It's all just bullets. I'm glad that you keep trying to take out the pillar. The pylon, rather. But the main thing is that you need to actually... <laughs> is that you need to be careful about crossing traffic when their hitscan can go ahead and, like, murder you. <clears throat> nah, you're fine, Pip. As I can tell, it's working out. How would I know? <laughs> I don't... I unfortunately do not keep track of a lot of people's things. On cooking streams as well as gaming. Hell yeah. I'm ready for some cooking action. That is a good laser. Well done. Nice escape. I don't know why we tried to fly back in on 80 health. But we're about to do it again on 140. Isn't that nice? Are the emotes? Yes, the emotes are always nice. You got affiliate. Well, I mean, congratulations on affiliate. Um, I'm going to leave that bard away because it is funny. <clears throat> I do find this funny, Astray, that you keep floating very slowly across the air and are probably wondering why you're getting your shit packed in. I think it might be easier to just figure out by now that maybe doing that very slow flight is uh, going to get you killed. So it might be a better idea to actually just try and just use cover a bit more instead of just idling out the way you're doing. Oh man. You gotta understand as well, they literally have Ilyari and Sojourn. You're going to get murdered by by like when you're in the air this much. You need cover. How can I adjust? I mean you can go ahead and do that, but once I figure out which emote you keep spamming in my chat, I'm just gonna remove like I'm just gonna time you out every time you do it. Nice kill. Cupcakes! Loves a cupcake. Laser moment. Unfortunately, too many heals. I know you want to kill the tracer, and I understand why, but chasing all the way through like this just for that is absolute nightmare material. So just be very careful with that, yeah? Nerf that, except you throw it into the dumpster. Oh, never mind, it made it. That's okay. I'm going to say, if you send it towards the edge of the dumpster, it's only going to, like, not work out at all. 
Mouse also has a firmware update. Sort it out. Sort that out. But yeah, Astro, you only make it harder for yourself when you keep chasing chasing Tracer as hard as you do. You like, you just want to use the. <clears throat> that was some silly Tracer antics. What you want to do is actually like use the mobility that you have available to. Oh my lord, what is going on here? And I say that laser is not going to do you a whole lot while you're stuck out behind them like that. Oh dear. Good lord. And just remember, Swigger, it is going to eat your uh, your battery life. So just make sure you charge it regularly. Why didn't we hack the diva who was right there in front of you? Man, spatial awareness. Sp you, you just... When you say fuck with performance, in what way, Suiko? Be an ashtray, mate. You are... I feel like... I feel like you have just smoked the fattest blunt in the world before coming into this match because you are just... You're, you're sleepwalking through this match. Sleepwalking. Just dead ass. Like, I just can't even understand. Like, some things are just not not visible to you in this game. Seriously. Like, the diva was right there in front of you on both occasions. You're like, nah, it's fine. Nice kill. Hey, Rubus, how you doing? Whenever I play with that energy drinks. You are way too hyperactive as it is, peep. If anything, you should not be touching energy drinks. Seriously. That's what the ashtrays are for. Yeah, I mean, yes, but also no. If that's actually why his name is Ashtray, because he's just an absolute chronic smoker, it would make sense. Almost had a heart attack, I'm not kidding. It doesn't surprise me at all. Seriously. Take, take care of your health, people. That was almost very scary, you blinking out into the open light. There is a health pack below. The the tank is really not the not the way to go there. Because you have to you have to kill off the supporters right next to them. I just realized you have a Kiriko and that, for some reason they ulted from Narnia? Where did that come from? Didn't even make it to the point. Just so we're clear, Swicker, the, the performance issues that come from uh, changing to 4K DPI, uh, they're mainly, uh, like, a lot of those issues are actually just pertain to their own hardware. I mean, sure, there's a lot of, like, problems that come of that, but in regards to implementations being poor, you would expect some of those to work out correctly. Yeah, true. If it was working at 2k, that's a good sign, though. Doesn't surprise me at all, Pete. I love when names go with interests. He hasn't actually responded whether or not he actually is a chronic smoker, despite the name Ashtray. I mean, if you shouldn't hack the 1 HP Kiriko. You should shoot the 1 HP Kiriko. Your name is Ash? Oh, okay. That helps. You're sitting at 250 consistently locked now? 250 what? FPS or polling rate? That's all right. Okay, <laughs> Let's get started. Got a lot of systems that need hacking. Not polling. I'm not Zeph. Bro, there's worse than that. Zeph was locked to that because of his ship breaking. Unlike fucking 
Super Dan who decided, you know what I'm going to fucking do? I'm just going to leave it on 125 hertz and be a fucking what? Ascendant in Valorant? That's actually a solid trade. But yeah, like, I'm not trying to hate Astray, but I really do not understand your target selection in this game. You didn't, did you finish that hack? No, you got interrupted by damage, randomly. But you killed him with virus, so it's okay. It's fine, everything's fine. We're actually flanking now, it's okay. We're not just drifting into the open. He hacked the mini? Did he actually hack the mini? Wait. Did he hack the mini by accident instead of instead of soldier? Ain't no way. <laughs> How did that happen? What is the sensitivity on your hack? Is it on full? Put it to 75. So with the thing you're actually aiming at actually gets fucking hacked. Good lord. Good lord. Did not realize that. Thank you, clumsy. <laughs> Put it to 75. That way, the thing you actually aim at should get hacked. Because if there are two targets next to each other and they happen to overlap, you'll get something wrong. May be able to fix this computer. What the fuck was wrong with this computer? Why are you all uh, suddenly telling me that there were problems and I never heard about this until when they're about to be fixed? Next, we're going to be nanoing mercies. The, 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 the thief is right there! Hack sensitivity immediately, immediately fix that ashtray. Why did you not hack the diva and just finish her? Oh my lord, why? Oh no, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why do you keep giving yourself away? What are you doing? Ah! I'm dying here. Mercy mythic is going to make you a mercy man again. 100% sadness right there. You keep giving yourself away. Are you gonna get the Ryan skin? It's pre-base. Wait, there's a Ryan skin? What kind of Ryan skin? Wait, is it on the battle pass? For Ashtray, just need to remember that the virus is not hit scan. You need to actually aim the bloody thing. Aim the fucking thing! Wait, what the hell? Oh no, Nana Sombra! <laughs> I like how he suddenly locked in when he got nanoed. Talon Ryan? That sounds fucking sick. What the hell? I want it. Don't tell me it's on the battle pass, but is it on the battle pass? They all are? God damn it. I have to actually play Overwatch last season? Gotta perform for the Anna. You didn't on the You didn't when you were nano to Zeko. <clears throat> well see you could have thrown that up onto the shuttle and it would have been okay. You know, you know it's hilarious when your when your partner bans your main account. And your partner actually bans all of your accounts from chatting. That's that's the fucking goods right there. Yeah, hit me with it, Meg. I'll say it. I'll I'll peep it after this. Yeah, I don't understand though. You are the only sombra I've ever seen, Ashtray, that actually just refuses to fucking flank. Like, what are you doing? Why do you have to keep going front on with these people? Like, why? Like, your whole character lives and breathes being a flanker, and you're literally just running fucking front on into people. It's gotta stop. Nice. I like how you still got the old Sombra in mind, though. You keep randomly teleporting on the spot, thinking that you have to go back. <laughs> I could just set up here, guys, is what he just did there. Oh my god, why did that wife liver do that? God, all wife liver players are terrible. 
The hill, the health pack is behind you. The health pack is behind you. Why didn't you just get the health pack? Why did the, never mind, you killed him in time. But then he died because you didn't hit the fucking health pack. Why didn't you just get the health pack? Ashtray, the tunnel vision is just, it's insane. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you thinking? Obviously don't answer that because we know you're not thinking. But the point is, what 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 is going on? misses the virus again sad face i really don't like that you keep ulting in the middle of three people or like just appearing in the middle of three people when there's no one there to cover for you and there's no off angle like the fight's not even in progress like you're literally just appearing there and getting murdered i want to be like you when i'm older aren't you like the same age aren't you both in your 20s Nineteen hour. Oh, well, close enough. All right, we're back to Echo. I see. You didn't realize how bad my television was. Oh, it's right here. New game mode to learn next season. Like, like an actual game mode. Is it one that everyone's gonna get angry about? Just like fucking uh, Flashpoint. You're twenty-three. See that? Yeah, you're both fucking young as hell. It's ashtray. I'm going to fucking. I I actually like. This actually feels like... You ever watch those movies where, like, they just... Those secret agents pick up the ashtrays off the table and just brain somebody with it? That's what I feel like has happened here. I'm not sure who's been hit, but I, it might be both of us at this point. That's what's going on here. Wait, what are you doing? You're sorry. At least this time it's just a 1v1 in the back line, which is fine. I can live with that. Have you coached anyone in a game that is older than them? Have I coached anyone in a game that is older than them? You mean the game is older than the person? Depends how far back you go with the franchise. Like franchise as opposed to game. Like Counter-Strike is the obvious one there, right? Like, does that count? Because I've, co I've coached teenagers in Counter-Strike. Does that, is that, is that like, is that a free shot? Do I just like hit that free throw? Team diff to be honest. Did you you lost this match, right? Oi, old man. Oh, hello, Rubus. Thank you for the twenty. It says hang on a tick. Okay, I will just yell at Ashtray while we wait. So Ashtray, I need you to, <laughs> I need you to really just understand. <laughs> like you've watched this and you can kind of figure it out for yourself, just judging by the horrifying look on your face over there. So yes, I'm sure you're just as horrified as the rest of us that. You watched how tunnel vision you were in this game. You you need to understand that all of the characters you play function best when you're flanking or off angling while a team fight is in progress, not by ramming your head into the wall and having three people collapse onto you before a fight starts. <clears throat> your timing is way off. Stop braining yourself before the fight starts. In regards to Echo Laser, they have to be below 35% health in order for the actual damage amount to kick in. So just, it has to be more than less than half. Like, you're looking at them when they're at half health and going for it, and that's okay. But if they get healed up above that half health threshold, you immediately lose. No, it does more damage at 50%, don't get me wrong. But if someone gets healed up past that point, which you're, like, you're very much on the border when you start lasering, it's not it's very hard to guarantee that kill, right? So you want to make sure it's like 40%. Like you're kind of just like you're kind of just rushing it a little bit too much. We want because we want that that cooldown to guarantee a kill, right? Against any squishy, right? You want to be able to fly close enough, hit him with the pellets, which is the explosive shit, and then 
give them like a couple of these ones and then laser them down and it should be okay, right? But against tanks, you have to, if you see them at 50%, you want to be able to hit them with the explosives and then start lasering and the explosives will go off and then you start murdering them straight down. Ty, I need you to understand something. Everyone in my chat is disappointing on varying levels. The only difference is the reason. So yes, you are all my children. And I am definitely playing the part of a disappointed dad quite well. Even even my 40-year-old child, Rufus. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not uncommon to have children that are older than you, right? Smile. <laughs> Nah, but in truth, I love you all, and you're all hilarious. Thank you for the rest. No worries, Astra. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. But yeah, the tunnel vision. Please make it stop. Just get those off angles correct, and you will be fine and dandy. What? What is? Why, why are my DMs blowing up? Oh, it's a door. Wait, is that actually on you? Where is that on you? Is that like your leg or something? It's fucking adorable either way. Um. We're back on Circuit Royale again, Ruby? Is that is that really what you're making me do? More Circuit Royale? Goes across the top of your back. Oh, true. Cute. It's fucking adorable. You surely have to go back to the same bloke to get that fucking thing done, though. All right, so this is Bronze Uno. Bronze Uno. Thank you, Rubus, for selling out. Keeping my dreams alive. mask things yeah because you're so masculine tire <laughs> biggest lie ever told that was the that was a huge and en fucking entry did lord the fucking doomfish just hit that eh I do like that we keep coming back to this map every time, Rubes, because every time I see it, you actually do the same approach, but better each time. So I'm actually quite happy with it. The problem is just that, like, I now I'm going to have to see you do this for every other map. So that's cool. Uh, so I hope you're not including me in this parents discussion. <clears throat> Control point of flash mode is harder for you. All right? Yeah, that's obviously true. But obviously you can't fix shit like that happening either without better pylon placement. Unfortunately, wreck is the old father. Amen. <clears throat> I know you didn't say enhanced point of precision on. And you mean uh, high precision mouse input? Which I know they're different, but it, just be, be careful with the words. <laughs> because a lot of confused people are going to be like, What, mouse excel? <laughs> nah, I got you. I got you, sweet. I got you. It's fine. I'm just saying it out loud so that people don't read and be like, What did they do? <sighs> But now I got you. But hey, nice work. <clears throat> now do it again. In World of Darkness, Odin is a vampire who may or may not drink well. But that sounds fucking chat as fuck. Honestly though, Swika, the mouse excel doesn't even work in, uh, in Overwatch because of the raw input thing. Which I'm so glad we found out because that was making my life miserable. Thinking about... The WoW player from South. <laughs> oh dear. 
Oh dear. So that was an unfortunate accident. <clears throat> As in, Mouse XL doesn't actually get affected by, uh, doesn't get affected in uh, Overwatch at all because they have raw input. Shots. Bada bing. Bro, this Doomfist is good. Shot. You should have jumped out. You had bounce, just jump out. My parents found on my wedding day, you can walk me down. You, you want me to walk you down the aisle for real? I mean, okay. I, I certainly look the part, so that's fine. I forgot how to even turn it off. Uh, mouse settings. So I go to start slash windows and just like type in mouse settings and then go additional mouse settings. You're doing it, Reeves, I believe. You, see, you can't you can't shoot a, a, a target being pocketed as Ilari at all. You just will not kill fast enough. I mean, it's great because it's also the soul. I mean, if it if it helps Solus, then that's fine. If it saves Solus a whole bunch of trouble, then I'll help him too. Yeah, that's all right. Because it should be off for other games you play, but a, a lucky day it's not affected in Overwatch. So I tell people to still turn it off because it's fucking awful, but yeah. <clears throat> Rubes, this is probably the fourth time you've actually run up past the mark straight into the tank and go, hello, I die now. Other games, what are those? Look. Life's tough. <laughs> man you know the thing I I, I I hate this so much how does this keep happening the amount of times I've been given the role dad in so many servers is fucking weird to me how do I keep ending up with this I don't get it chat Found this new game called Fallout New Vegas. Very new, yes, yes. Very good game, yes. I don't know who Lacan is, but it doesn't sound good. What color do I want? Uh, gold. I've always been a fan of gold. <clears throat> Fire that a little bit too flatly instead of firing it downwards. So that grenade went nowhere. Oh dear. Oh goofy dear. Back MMO is double you realize you can't get legends. That's fucking painful. Don't worry, the defense is goaded. That doesn't surprise me. <clears throat> Considering where this is going to end up, I assume that the defense is going to have to be goaded. You're too far away, by the way. Your damage fall off is kicking in. Oh look, it's Zarya again. You appear to be getting melted. Victoria. It's been a long time since I've been there. Nice dodge. Ruby is courting death. I feel like courting death is too nice. I feel like casually inviting death over for a few one night stands is where we're going at this point. <clears throat> I feel like we're past the courting stage. You know? Hooking up with death like Deadpool and Thanos at the same time. In a triple threat steel cage match. 
Smart. In the comics, they both love death. I mean, that's reasonable. <clears throat> Ribs, I don't think you've hit a shot in about a minute. And I think you're only making it worse by randomly f moving forward and backwards the way you're doing. Oh, the stress. Look at the, st <laughs> the stress. <clears throat> Thanos is canonically a massive banned by Twitch word for Lady Death. Banned by Twitch word. Oh, I get what you're saying now. Clumsy trying to ash death at the new Marvel game in chat. Bruh, it's prepared for that. That game is made for Fortnite gamers? Grim. Someone suggested Solus adds to chat up points an IRL fist fight. With who? The wall? Why would you? Thanos made Deadpool immortal or some shit at some point because he was jealous. That's hilarious. Hey, Thanos, make me immortal. You fuck. I want it. That way I can live until a universe where I can get a cure for Crohn's and then go out and kick ass. <laughs> Come to our house and fight. What the fuck kind of stupidity is that? Why would you... Why would you even entertain that idea? You, you people fucking... You shy folk, man. Fucking hell. Solus didn't disagree. Too many fucking head injuries, that's why. I'm going to have to expect that at one point you're going to hit a shot here because there's just a lot of moving and not a lot of shooting, you know? Just a lot of like sticking and moving around the place and I don't see you actually hitting a shot. You're hitting shots now, but I just thought, like, when you start going aggressive here, like, on defense, like, you just start panicking with all the targets. <clears throat> but you're also, like, at one point, you were way out of fall-off range. Break. I feel Anna would suit Ruby better. Possibly. That is assuming that, you know... Ruby would stay at range. But the moment is the moment you get dove, it's just sad. <clears throat> hmm. Now that's some shots. There you go. <clears throat> that's more like it. There we go. Shots are happening now. Like a real target range. I say that range, that healing range is not there at all. <clears throat> <coughs> Look at 
But I say Pylon will handle the rest there. You're gonna pick up the APS. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, Ruby's just got a big preference for being able to shoot and letting the pylon do the rest of it. And you know what? At least it works out. Because at least remembering to place pylons is helping. Massive. Huge. What is Pylon versus Mercy Hill? Right, Mercy's is more obviously. <clears throat> what a bit. The Pylon does heal through Matrix, yeah. Well then. That turned out bad. No worries, Meg. Take it easy, mate. I'll see you again later with those stamps when you get a chance. Have a good one. Scoot means leave. Yeah, the numbers are definitely not in the favor, but at least the good news is that um, is that Iliari could still do damage despite that. Now, oh yes, I have to check media quickly before you go, right? So this is a Reinhardt skin. Bro, I thought, Wait, old man. Bro, I thought this was fan art. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? This is real? This is a real skin with real skinness. For real. This is a screenshot from the trailer. Holy shit. Alright. Looks like I actually have to play in Season 10. Fuck. Can they buff Reinhardt? Are they buffing Reinhardt in Season 10? Chat? Does anyone remember? Was it in the blog? Did they say he was being buff? No buff. Only skin. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. Doom has a rework. Ryan not mentioned. Fucking shit game. That's terrible. What's this? IBBKSA has donated $20 with no message. I'm assuming this is for your VOD review, right? Right? Peep the trailer. I'll watch it after stream. I've got I to gotta actually, like, stay on the ball with this. You can do it with you. I don't know about that one, Mike. This is Sated here. I do not see him. He might be asleep still. He'll turn up. Give him a minute. Give him a hot minute. You can summon him in. All right. <clears throat> Building a whole ass studio. Interesting. <sighs> Doesn't like waiting. No worries. All right. So... Wait, did you just sell out a wife lever game? Please say no. Plat two. All right. Platinum two. Fuck, it's a fucking wife lever game. God damn it. Why are there so many wife levers in my fucking stream in the past week, bro? All of you are just coming out of the woodwork suddenly. I don't get why. Alright, so I'm going to try and say this in the nicest way possible. Bro, six people just left my stream because I said wife lever. Fuck! Bro, this is the dirtiest support combo ever. Like, literally, like, the lowest form of why are we even playing this game. It's double, double throughput healer. Also, why is that Rodok? Is that Rodok skin real? That's hilarious. It's Kark's fault for saying... That he has the highest shield break on the support rock. Oh, you, are you kidding? Is that really what he said? You have to let that charge get to at least 50, bro. But 
this is the problem I have with wife lever. It's like you're gonna play this character who has to charge his heal and every other character does like a, an instantaneous throughput heal the same way without any issues. Also, Zen and Bap are right there. Like, there's no way, right? Like, don't get me wrong. People will tell me that, like, you know, Wife Lever does great DPS, but it's like the spread is way too high and you're not going to hit all those pellets at range anyway. There's no fucking way. But the fact that you're letting go of heals at 20 is really fucking hurting me. Like, I really do not want to see that. Is it really 10 bucks? On what? I didn't think it's about. It's been buffed twice, Solus, but like at mid range, it's still not going to hit. Generally. Why did you put yourself in here? This is like the worst place in the world to be. Oh no. I mean, I know you think you saved the Genji, but in truth, like, the blade is still sad for that either way. <laughs> it's good against Widows and Critting Tanks? I mean, yeah. Are we gonna tree? Surely we tree right on top of the other tree now, right? So that your team can advance? Or are we just gonna sit there and just, like, spam healing the whole time? Just please, just tree! I would have rather it been a little bit... Oh, man, he just pulled Rodog out of his... Op but yeah, the part I was saying before is it's really hard to, to, like, to enjoy Wife Lever because you have to understand that your character only exists to do throughput healing. You don't do good enough damage. It takes too much effort to switch between damage and healing and it sacrifices the other one too hard. You don't have any decent utility. Your mobility is alright, but like, yeah, it could, any, anyone else's is still better, generally. I enjoy MMO mentally. Ill. Look, yeah, I, I tell everyone the same thing, right? I assume your name's Ibrahim uh, because of the name I, Ibi, right? Young Ibi. I'm going to tell you something really simple. I'm going to tell you something. There are two... How did you know? Because I can read, bro. <laughs> anyway. Um, it's not weird. It's, it literally says IBB. It's like... It, I've, I've, you're not the first person I've met. You're not the first person I've met named Ibrahim with the name Ibi as a fucking game name. Oh! Save! And then die because you're standing in the open. Which doesn't help. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to tell you what I tell everyone else, right? If you play a video game, right? You've got two choices. You want to win or you want to have fun. They seldom overlap. Very, they very rarely overlap. So if you have fun playing this character... Unfortunately, winning is going to be difficult, right? But if you, but if winning is fun enough for you and you don't care about character, then just play the meta, right? They're the choices you have to make. They are the demons you must slay, right? But unfortunately, it is very hard to actually like play this character to an acceptable level. So like, so, like the questions that you had for me in DMs were like, yeah, like what, like. Is there a way for Wife Lever to work? And the truth of the matter is, if your team only needs throughput healing and it's got everything else sorted out for itself, then it will be okay, right? But that's a freaking rarity. And if that's the case, then they would just pick Moira because Moira has an easier time surviving than Wife Lever by default. So that like automatically becomes an issue for why would you want to play this character, right? Don't get me wrong, Tree's good. Life Grip is nice, but they're very niche. And other characters do it better in almost every situation. Right? So that's the big problem with this character. Dive Arissa though. Smile. I'd rather we not talk about that out loud. Oh, 
I'll join it after stream, Pandy. I have to join Solus's one too. I went to try and find it on his stream and it's not there. Because, you know, who doesn't put their Discord in their fucking stream? You mean Singed, may, maybe there's a pattern? Singed isn't that bad though. It's in my socials tab. There's a socials tab in on disc, on streams. I don't know, I just went into the description part thing and I didn't see it there. The socials command. I'm not doing commands in people's fucking streams. I'm there to lurk. I'm there to lurk, bro. I'm not making my presence known. That is a G up and a half. Is it bad that I'm rooting for the blue team? You can root for whoever you like. Unfortunately, they both have wife levers on them, though, so that doesn't really help. But yeah, maining singed isn't particularly the end of the world either. Now, if you were, a, like, a Yumi main or something, then... Then we'd have a problem. But you're not a Yumi main, are you, Ibi? No, you're not. No, you're not. I like to think you have great tastes. Why? Because you're in this fucking stream. That's how I know you have great tastes. Never will be. That's my boy. Can I count on you? I'm not your best subject. This body isn't exactly cutting edge tech anymore. Miss Chase, I insist that you never tear yourself down in my presence again. <laughs> All right, I get the picture. I was feeling lonely. Follow my lead. I'll make sure this goes smoothly. Long bike asylum. Hello. The cat can play rank games while still working from home. Get the fuck out of here. Live Weaver saves on the well are pretty good. I mean, look, there were some saves that happened where people were getting knocked off the thing here, and that's cool and all, but those are a freaking rarity. So, yeah. But yeah, the same issue, like, is happening here. Like, you're both playing throughput healers, and you have no utility. So, there is a chance that you're not going to be able to out-damage the enemy when they run at you, and you're going to get killed. And, like, what does that, what does that solve? Plus, you have no damage either, which makes it even worse. Oh, there we go. He actually ran right into that. What a champion. That was so nice of him. But yeah, if you're not charging those up to at least 50, right? They're not actually, like, good enough healing. And you generally don't have to hard charge past 55. So that's something that you should keep in mind. I do find it funny that you threw the pedal platform at Arisa, praying that it would actually, you know, save them. And we found out that definitely is not the case. It happens sometimes? Sure. But like, I want you to understand, right? You literally watch this play and all you see is your team getting run over very slowly by the amount of damage output that's happening. Res with pedal is good? Sure. But that's way too niche. And it's still very easy to hit a Mercy who is airborne just above point for, and while she's like still and floating through the air. Like it's still like very easy to kill a Mercy doing that. And they have the damage output to do it. And they also have supports that can do damage as well. Like they have bloody, they have a Zen that does immense damage. I'm like, you very much remove the need for healing if you can mitigate that by killing somebody during a fight. <laughs> like, their mercy just chased you down and killed you. If you had any other support, you actually stood a chance to shoot them. You know what I mean? No There's a lot less need to kill... Sorry, to heal, overall, if you can actually do that. Pedal can counter... Every, yeah, Pedal counters Terra Surge and Zarya ult, right? Great. It counters the surges. What What else? They're very niche situations. And I mean, shit. Suzu does the job in both cases as well. 
It removes like damage being done whilst that's happening, and it it, st it can stop the burst damage of that actually hitting you. Is that tree actually reaching that doorway? Oh dear, that was silly. Can also groof high noon and self destruct. But yeah, it's it's just very hard to to justify playing this character, you know. Because like when you think about the actual sheer amount of healing that you do, like Anna does the exact same amount with just plain shots, like literally just presses button, and the healing is done. Same with Moira, right? Like the, 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 there's just better options. He will get buff soon. I mean, look, say this buff that comes through in season ten is actually a very good buff, right? Right? What will that solve? Because the truth of the matter is, right? Unless you give him, like, a hit of utility that <clears throat> that makes him outshine at least one support, what would, like, what would work? You're going to get the pick light out. You're definitely getting it out, Pandy. This is the celebration? Is it happening? <clears throat> we getting sloshed tonight? Oh, so they changed what he had before about it spawning a health pack. Now it just spawns a tree. But that's the thing. You can't exactly rely on... Like, you would rather have something that allows your character to be better despite dying? Like, in, like without dying? If that's really the whole rework, then that's fucking awful. Well, if you come back and everything's good... There will be celebrations, Pandy. I'll even I'll even announce it in server if it's Gucci. <clears throat> Hell yeah. I mean, the dash helped. Well done. Mildly hurts that you are just behind their ultimates being spent on that team. There's yours. There are a lot of buttons being pressed right now. Dear Lord. I believed so hard that you were actually about to do something really good and then you just then then you go and do that you gotta be kidding me I had so much faith man I did I had so much faith and then you just decide to peek out like the funny thing is if you actually just stayed behind the pedal you would have been okay at least you won but fucking why do I focus someone or spread the... Oh, but that's the problem. It's really hard to do that by default as wife Lever. Like, you're... You're, like, pleasantly mediocre at... At both of them. Right? You know what I mean? And the only thing you're able to, like, give in for this is healing. Like, you can't damage very well without giving up the healing as well.
They just spent those ulties directly. Like the funny thing is, most of your teammates were full health for the longest time. As opposed to the enemy who were like getting absolutely like slapped on. So their wife flavor got ulti before you again. And then nothing, right? And the best part is because you had the, we would have had the opportunity to damage enemies on any other support. So that would have actually like worked out for you if you'd had the chance to do damage, but your wife lever and you do mediocre damage. So no actual, like no gain from that. You did it again? Sad day for Rube. Those those bloody meetings, man. Is he, by any chance, a dashing ex mercenary from the Caribbean? Four, three, <laughs> Might just be. One. Attackers in <laughs> That's fine. If you still want to play this character despite that, say so and I will give you the tips that you deserve. Yeah, that, that, that range is a problem that you'll have to just deal with. Cool, they didn't even make it to point. That helps. Positioning was really good there, though, so what up? Well, Rubes, you could always quit the game. You know, might help. But then you'll say, where's the fun in that? And I can't help you with that one. Your positioning is actually really good, but the problem is because your wife lever, you will end up outranging some people when that happens. I gotta say though, despite I hate that I hated looking at your sensitivity in the DMs, but you actually seem to utilize it relatively well. I think the main thing I'm struggling with at the moment though is actually trying to figure out whether or not you can actually DPS anybody, whether it's a choice problem or whether it, you're actually just struggling to do so. Dude just ran at you and you ignored him. Like, you've got to actually turn around and shoot the guy. I mean, you won anyway because of that. But, like, you know, it's one of those things. If, if, it, if the dude's going to run at you, th your first reaction should be to just turn around and punch his face in just the same. Like, it's weird. Need to go make a giant ice coffee. I was spending an hour waiting for bloods. True. True. But yeah, if you're going to keep playing Wife Lever, this, this is the advice that you need to know, all right? First things first, your positioning is great and you're doing like really well in regards to keeping your distance. That's fine. The problem is you have to like acknowledge the fact that you are going to be out of range of some of your people hard engaging on the front. And that is why being slightly closer with the ability to use pedal platform will benefit you on some maps, but... It's just something to keep in mind. The next thing is that if someone is actually going to run at you, or if your entire team is full health, you need to put out some damage. Like, you need to put out some sort of pressure. You are not, like, doing anything but healing in this. So the problem is that, like, when, you, when everyone's full health and 
there's damage coming out on the enemy. Their support alts are being farmed faster than yours, and you're not putting out any like pressure to either help secure a kill or to even stay ahead on alt charge. So their their wife lever comes out with an alt faster than you do almost every single time because you know all your DPS are just focusing a tank and nothing's getting killed, and that that doesn't help in any way, shape, or form if you're not able to like either augment that or fix that in any way, shape, or form. The pedal platforms were okay. But the problem is there was these moments where you were just randomly just throwing them out. And I don't even think you had any intent to use them. You're like, eh, if it's there, I'll do something with it. It's like, okay. But if you have to deal with it, then you have to deal with it. Like you will actually figure out when is the right time to go for it and so on and so forth. Ads? Oh, look, look, at least it'll be, someone just tell him it'll be on YouTube later and there won't be any ads there. So you'll be right. He'll be fine get that information afterwards <clears throat> but yeah the final thing that airborne dash you have that airborne dash you have you've got to actually try and use it to go between two high ground points if possible so like on p3 of icon world you can go from one top like top side to the other if you actually need to and that will keep you in a much better spot and that just yeah, it wasn't getting used much generally, but that's because your position was actually pretty solid. So I won't, I won't harp on too much about that. Life grips are weird. I don't have a lot of like input for that because obviously there's a lot of weird things about the way that that goes. Also, yeah, it'd be the the vol on, will be on YouTube, so you don't have to worry about the ads during that. So you can go back and double check it when the time comes up. Okay. Is that tiramisu? No worries, Mike. Thanks very much for bringing a VOD in, and thank you very much for the $20 donation. And you can bring in a VOD at any time after this, but I think I'm going to close the queue until the next patch, so just come back next patch. Great community you have. You're very welcome here, Mike. We are we are for everyone, literally. As long as you're not a dickhead, you can be in here. That's 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 how we operate. Rubes, what do you mean? What do you mean? Eh. <laughs> My man. Ah, okay, that's all right. Rubes. <laughs> Congrats on your sub. <laughs> Ruby donated you a sub. <laughs> because re re reading chat is a bit rough. So yes, say say thank say thank Miss Ruby. Uh, I, I I feel like <laughs> I feel like Ruby thoroughly misread that, but either way, that's hilarious. So I'm just gonna let that ride out. Does anyone want to tell Ruby when she gets back, or do we just, we'll just leave it in the air? <laughs> Either way. Welcome to the Binet Army, bud. Don't even enjoy your mates. Don't forget to link your account to Discord so you can see all the other channels, too. Booyah. All right. Back to the queue. Young chat.
Sorry, chat, just answering a DM quickly. <clears throat> Yeah, that makes sense. It's just, just not going through as fast as it would be. <clears throat> uh, I don't know about addiction, but it's uh, it's something, Zef. It's okay because Frogger played it? Oh, of course. Frogger makes everything better, apparently. <clears throat> No worries, man. Take it easy. Thanks for stopping by. I say to come to life. Trying to summon Sated. I don't I don't think it works like Beetlejuice, Mike.
How do I not have a fucking... Oh, it's bat, that's why. I was trying to remember what the fuck it was. <clears throat> Oi, Rick. Thank you, Reeves, for the 20. This is for when Sadie gets on. What if he doesn't? What if he doesn't? That's the unfortunate part. You can hear. Yeah, the <laughs> Rubes, that, that sub you gifted, that great community you have thing, he was actually complimenting the community. <laughs> the ads were just unfortunate because it was happening midway through the the explanation for his uh wife leaving mechanics. So he was he was sad. <laughs> No, it wasn't sarcasm. He was he was very happy. He donated to get on the stream, so yeah, like he's he's good. Yes. Is good. It's all good. Uh, let me just check if there's one in the queue. Hang on. Sorry. Just sorting out some stoof in the DMs. He hasn't sent one, and I'd rather he be here for when that's actually a thing. So we'll just we'll just wait for him to turn up. We'll give it a sec. We'll give it a bit. And we'll go on to the next one, and then we'll come back when that right. So. Trying to figure out what to get your son for his birthday. <laughs> You're asking the wrong people for that one, boy. <clears throat> All right. It's time for some fun. This one's going to be funny. Because I just know it is. All right. Who remembers Mogwa? I hope you all remember Mogwa. Because uh, it's time. Our young Fortnite pro. Fortnite Pro and what, what, what were all the other things that he said he was good at? Claw Machine? Claw Machine's always good. Helps for everything. 
So for those of you who are unaware, Mogwa told us a little uh, last week that he was... What was he, chat? GC in Rocket League. Diamond in Apex. Unreal in Fortnite. But gold in Overwatch. We're going to see how much merit there is to that. There's a health pack on your left. Not too bad. Well, now you're dead. For the record, health pack right there. Would have saved you a lot of trouble. Overwatch is the real esports shame. No one can watch it. It's rough, man. It's mean out here in these streets. <clears throat> Is he going to take the Tracer 1v1 round? And I'm finding it very hard to believe that you were actually... Dude's got some snap on his aim, huh? Just up and down and shit. Blinked over the health pack. That's alright. Let's check his sense quickly while he's repositioning. Eight cents on 800 DPI. I feel like that's a bit, that's a little bit high. Hello, Kiva. Welcome. Why is that name interesting? Man, that tracer is ruining you all. How unfortunate. Oh, it actually is. Yeah, okay. I thought I was reading that right. My French is very limited. Yeah, it's Kiva. Holy shit, it's Kiva. Can you believe it, chat? A wild Kiva appears. You're like... Casually just aiming at the floor the whole time as well, huh? Like, you could aim a little bit higher. Hello, Mike, I do. I only told them good things, Kiva, so if none of them are true, then what does that say? Mike, I swear I sent you a DM a while back about something and you didn't answer. Bro, I'm finding it really hard to believe that you were actually, like, as good as other people like in these other games when like you could have you have three charges available with your with tracer and you're not blinking at someone to stick stick it to them you actually tried to lob it at this rank I, I, i'm finding it really hard to believe that you are as good as you say you are when you do shit like this like this is really grinding me Points being contested. Can you believe it? And like, not a single person just actually aware of that happening. Were well, you going to actually answer it at some point, Mike, or am I just going to be left hanging for a good year? Why do all the guns look so good on Cass? Except for when they're gold. If it's puddles underscore O one, then it is and it's in all caps, it's our puddles. And it's a possibility that it would be the one that we know, yeah. Puddles is friendly with everyone. The answer to your question is no? Okay, good. That means I don't have to kill you. <clears throat> Bro, I'm really finding it hard to believe that this person is actually, like... 
like you realize that you are not the tank and you are very much just running ahead of your entire team for no reason at all here right like that part's just clearly not registering dude literally went ass first to a rumatra of course that was gonna happen He was just alone the entire time. Is this the guy that was complaining about his... Was he complaining about his teammates as well? Hang on. Let me just find out from his DMs. Is this the guy that hates his teammates too? Would you help me how to rank up without getting harsh? I'm a fast paced player. I want to know how to outplay more people and rank up. I'm a master in Apex, Diamond in Rainbow Six, Unreal in Fortnite. I have mechanics but not game sense. Though if you could help, that would be, unre uh, would be great. I'm really struggling to believe that you have the aim to do this right now. I mean, yeah, okay, it's easy to get lost on New Junk City, but even if he wants to play fast-paced tracer games, he has to be able to aim better than this. Diamond is to rank 2.0. <laughs> is, is that the Squizzy? Is that the young Squiz Lord? Honestly, man, I thought I thought you were dead. I hadn't heard from you in so long. <laughs> what what happened, Sweeker? Jeez. Dude just needs to watch Kark, I think. Maybe. I know his name is Kark you, but I just I feel like calling him Kark just seems right for after the life weaver take. I'm gonna call him Kark. My brain's carked at that take, honestly. I just can't. It's not it's not a shroud level take, but it's a take. It's a take. I understand dudes hanging out for a flank, but like are we actually gonna like You can't hit the mercy out there, bro. I mean just report anyway, probably. How you doing, Squizlord? Kiva, that's way too far. <laughs> no, no one's reading that. You have the crazy frog stuck in your head. I think if you're if you're the happiest that you've ever been, that's reasonable. That is a reasonable take to have, Pandy. Props to you. You can crazy frog all day, mate. I've got to be honest, chat. I've actually feel like I've blinked and three rounds have gone, but I haven't seen this guy do anything despite that. The ever living fuck is that rude? <laughs> Wait, the fact that Kiva knows that is making me nervous. What the hell are you singing? That's the best he's aimed so far, but that dude was barely moving, so... It's your new favorite song. Is that actually the Crazy Frogs? I don't remember any of those sounds being made. Seriously, no idea what that is, or what that's supposed to be. Actually stuck, well done. I don't like that you lobbed it, but I can live with that. Nice shot. Dude panicked again. Oh, you're right. There's a new meme song? 
I mean, thank you for the five bucks. Was that your voice? By the way, as well, Kiva? Oh, maybe? Maybe? Sounded like it. I guess I'm going to have to watch this at some point after this is done. Is it the hamster song or the face? That is not the hamster song. I know which one you're thinking of, and no, the hamster dance is definitely not that one either. I do like the fact that you're actually trying to flank. I don't like that every time you have, like... You literally have three charges and you don't use them for any sort of mobility at all. You're just idling. And then you start panicking and spending all of them at the same time. That's weird. Well, Kiva just said the new meme song. The fact that there's a new one makes me nervous. Got away for the sleep darts. I mean, you got to like use the cover so that it's hard for them to actually peek onto you. But I'm really not believing it. Like, like okay, like if Diamond on Rank 2.0 is supposed to be easy for Rainbow Six, then sure, right? But we saw your Fortnite stats, and they weren't great. It, it was apparently. <laughs> okay, Roofs. That's weird as hell. <laughs> but I'll keep that in mind. Um, and then... What else did you send? Diamond and Apex. Which, okay. There's there's something to it, sure. But... I don't know, man. I'm just not... If you have the aim to play these games, how would you be struggling so hard in Overwatch? Like, it's, it's so weird to me. But we've lost again. Oh. Why would you ever listen to that for an hour? That's just scary. <laughs> anyway, so Mogwa, mate. Look, I'm going to give you the, the standard advice, right? Because it's, it's very hard for me to like really picture this without like getting angry at the things that you've like said. But the big thing that like you're, you're, you're telling us about your, like your achievements in other games, it does not, it's not translating to this game at all. You clearly like do not have the aim to even get past gold. If anything, like, even on your best day right now, you might, like, you might be able to hang, but you've got the right idea with actually looking for flanks, so I'll give you that. But you don't use your cooldowns well at all. Like, your dashes are being wasted a lot, or sometimes they're not being used at all, which is just weird. You're not trying to bait out anything in the back line either. When you go in, you're just being, you're a very obvious target when you get there, and you're getting put to sleep very easily. So, you have to at least, like, try to understand that the whole point of playing Tracer is to stay alive whilst being the most annoying, like, individual possible. And you're not really pulling off either side of that. You're just, you're just kind of there. You weren't really giving, like, you weren't giving me any impression that you were actually threatening to the enemy's backline at all. There were moments where you were, like, fighting the enemy tracer and you were, you look like you're a panicked mess either way. But, like, it wasn't like anything really more was coming out of it. I don't think that there is a lot that you were actually doing that signifies to me that you were, like, aware of your surroundings or just trying to actually, like, do things to help your teammates. Or to at least help, like, in a flanking situation that will actually keep your team ahead. Because your timings are a bit off. You're not, like, engaging the same time as your team. You're running ahead of them on random occasions as well. And, like, that's through the middle, too. It's not like you were coming in from a flank and, like, actually being distracted. Like, there were, even when you were on Cass, you were just ran ass first towards the enemy tank and just died instantly. That's that's not what awareness looks like at all. Like, you're just really just throwing... You're trying to throw weight around, but you're just getting absolutely slapped for it. And it's not giving you any, like, any goodness at all. So, it's time to take a really good uh, look about, like, what you're actually trying to do. 
because it's really just not yeah it's not working what's this link what is this hell that you have sent to me this is an actual song am i gonna get dmca'd for this this is in latin Am I going to get DMCA'd for this? Probably. I'm starting to understand why all the cat thingos go with it. Is this, is this like an eight-year-old kid? What is going on here? That was something. <sighs> what is this? A fucking problem is what it is, mate. I am currently... I'm a... I'm just going on to the next vlog. Just fuck. Fuck everything. Seriously. Just, just what, what, what am I fucking doing here? Just fuck it. Boy Wonder. New band word. I don't even know. I don't even know at this point. I really... I just don't. I, I, I don't even get it. I just... I got nothing. Boy Wonder. Gold 5. Tank. Etc. Hang on. Where's my thing? -o? There's a three minute version that just loops the chorus. That's just fucking pain. You, Ruby sent me an hour long one because, you know, it's not weird enough that I have to listen to it for 10 seconds. You want to listen to it for an hour. Christ, Rube. I got a headache just, just from that minute. If you're going to engage right through the middle, shouldn't you just use a shield? Especially if you're not going to go look for a health pack. Like, if, you, if your plan was not to look for a health pack after that at all, you came back, you pressed shield in front of one person, got nothing. That's not good. God, it's going to be a long day. What the hell was the point of that? You aspire to be a meme? You've already got the title. What do you need more? What more do you need, Rubes? I know I've said this enough about ball in general, but like the whole point of playing ball is to be as disruptive as possible. It's not to just straight up land in the middle of people or every single time, waste your shield on nothing and then like, and, and like have wasted all of your cooldown. So you're just like there. Automatically becomes trouble after that. The good news is that if anyone actually follows on with you when you go for this attempt, then it's fine. Because you can just drive people out of the fight by default. Ooh, aim needs a bit of work. Please stop using your shield on nothing. It is really hurting you. Morning, Sated. You and Rubes have some discussion to make about stuff you are dead i hope you're feeling better or at least a little bit better Rube sold out on your behalf but didn't have anything to actually put in queue we tried to summon you like we summoned beetlejuice and it didn't work either see now that's a fine like example of like you know going in and being disruptive but you spent your shield and then didn't commit which is just weird it's fine if you don't commit at all and just like use the tether to get out but you're just fully committing every button that you have to be inside the fight. And then you just commit them in the wrong order and have absolutely nothing to work with. Like, it's not right. 
Do you need to grab a code? Apparently so. Unless, like, you have one available that... That Rubes can put in on your behalf so you can relax. You've been up since 8pm. Are you alright? Is this about the gout still? That's a nice name. Could I give you my name? Okay, so just for the record, I run purely on a queue system. So you can send in your VOD at any point and I'll add it to my queue. If you do want to skip the queue, like to get in as soon as possible, uh, it's 20 bucks donation to put you at the front. But you have a funny name regardless, so welcome. Mr. What is that? Useless Meat Boy. <laughs> Oh, we rolled over a trap again. No, don't do that. Spatial awareness is not the boy wonder strong suit. But yeah, just follow the criteria, mate. Or is he muted? Did he hear anything I said? I just realized he has the mute button thing on his thing. Good turn. Alright, boy, wonder we need some aim. At least roll towards the guy. No point in standing inside of the Ramacha ult and just copying punishment this whole time. You notice every single fight is just you, like, hard committing all your buttons and then just getting nothing from it and being just stuck there looking silly. Like, if you just... Even just, like, rolled through, didn't press a single thing, and then just, like, tethered out, or just, like, you did, like, a... Like, a staircase slam rather than a full tether slam, and it just gives you, like, a part of it, so you get the knock-up, and then you just tether out. Like, all of this stuff would help you to be more disruptive without actually, like, spending or wasting cooldowns. about as good as it gets for a shield. <sighs> Another ult spent without actually having, like, initiated that fight. What's the point, man? fuck am I watching? We're watching some pain. At least you knock someone into it, which is good. The whole point of the ult, though, is that you want to be able to, like, engage your minds in the air and then slam, so that when they wind up, they'll be landing from your slam. But we're not getting any benefit from that either, which makes it a bit painful. It should be ult in the air and then knock up, honestly. This dude just rolled straight through and did nothing, so that just makes it even weirder. But no, it's better to ult mid-air than slam. Because by the time the knock-up completes, the um, mines will be primed. So they can die to them. And plus, activating your shield once you once you land within all those people helps too. But he's just spending the button. Well, I wonder has proven to be a good student in the past. But to be fair, he never played tank before. He played DPS and support. So we all believe in the boy wonder. But... Uh, tank is not the way so far i mean the good news is he's staying alive which is a bonus but to be fair if he was versing players that were actually like aware of his like of his cooldown waste he'd be getting absolutely flattened right now plus the sensitivity is a bit i keep swinging past his target way too hard with his gun decent shield but again you don't have any like abilities to commit to a fight with we're just swinging around
At least if you did like a, like a roll off the payload into a slam, it would have been better than just ulting naked. Like you just keep doing these naked ulties and they're terrible. The only reason you got value off the last one is because you happened to knock Moira into it by accident. Like... Ugh. Well, we got the point, so that's fine. We got it before overtime, so that's cool. But it just... It could have been so much smoother if we actually were just paying attention to your own cooldowns. It's very, it's very silly to spend all of your cooldowns with no actual, like, plan in mind. Am I doing Sated's POV for that video, Rubes, or yours? Also, is that Meat Boy dude still here, or what? Sated's okay. Just following criteria. No worries, Mutt. Again, the engagements aren't so bad, but when you do the engagements with no defensive available and you don't have tether because you've used it as part of the engage, you're not going to survive this. And you're not going to have a good time with it either. It's good that you actually hit all of the shots there though, so well done. That's a better use of, of the slam. Pity we missed all the shots afterwards though, but now you can tether to get out. Which you did. That's kind of what we're expecting. That, that order. Problem is we did it without shield available. Now we're just idling in the open getting flattened by everyone. So maybe we fix that first. five-man shield is good but again the mines should have been as you were coming down because now like it's so easy for them to react to it they're just going to shoot all your mines out like what's the point plus now they also have the sombra to fuck your day up even more just tether out about as good as it gets honestly because at least he followed up on the ulti but outside of that, it was just pretty, pretty meh. Wife Lever vs. Ball in a range battle. Horrible. Just horrible. Again, Ramatra is not your target there, and that was a waste of everything. You almost get back capped as well, which makes it even funnier. Dear lord. Roll out, man. Doesn't matter if they take a section of the point. You'd rather it'd be better if you just don't die inside that fucking thing. And by die I mean prolong it so that it kills other people. Attempted the stair, but missed the the fall back onto it part, unfortunately. Committed way too hard again. He didn't have any shield available. That's an in. How do you live that? Such a shit play, and you actually lived. Dear lord. What region is boy one? I believe he's NA. Honestly, this is not a bad alt spot because it's right in the middle of everyone. The problem is that it will... Because you have no engagement over the top of it, it's hard to actually try and kill people inside of it. The timings aren't bad. You just have no setup to go with it. Like, you, you, if you actually just activated them in air, then slammed down on top of them on top of three people, those three people would probably immediately die inside that fight because they can't do anything... Uh, if they don't have especially if they don't have the cooldowns like they're not Moira they can't just fade out like they would have to walk or deal with like the minefield around them and that's when you can just roll back in and just knock into them and knock them into it like yeah great you won but 
honestly, against anyone that was remotely better at the game, you would get absolutely flattened for this. Like this is this is an example of a game where you would get incredibly punished for the things that you did. It wasn't particularly like good ideas that helped you win this game. It was just the fact that the enemy were just heinously underprepared for what you were doing here. <sighs> so otherwise upload replay to youtube besides actually record you don't have to upload it to youtube you don't have to bring me the code read the overwatch specific part of the cooldown oh uh, the cooldown the criteria just send me the replay code which you have there you have to send it to my dms with the other info that i requested which is your rank roll ign sense and dpi don't forget that you'll be put into the queue. So unless you pay the 20 to get ahead of it, you probably won't get done today. You'll probably be done on Monday or Sunday night if you're American. But yeah, boy, I wonder, mate, the absolute sheer waste of cooldowns that happened in this game was absolutely insane. Like we cannot get through to a point where you're actually just straight up, like just throwing down all these, all these buttons without any actual like gains there. But yeah, I'd feel a lot better if, if at the very least, we just worked on the alt part of the combo, like where you actually just swing past, ulti as you're in the air, and then slam down as the mines are forming. Therefore, everyone is stuck in it and will actually get killed despite that. That would be the most important one. The rest of it is just about actually just timing it out better because you're just putting yourself in grave danger over and over again for no reason. Ah, that's right. I have to do this one so this is a junker town game did i not do a junker town game yesterday with this or is this something different again i'm thinking of the wrong game I'm thinking of the wrong one so young broken gold one widow hanzo I don't want to add him if he's not feeling... Oh, no, he's there. Never mind. Said he's in chat, right? He's hanging. So I don't want to add him if he's not feeling well. Is this a 2 a.m.? No 10 p.m. A fellow Hanzo, man. Yes. Said it is the weeb enjoyer. Although I don't think Broken's ever played Genji before, only Widow Hanzo. Oh no, he hit the- No, he shot the wall! He shot the wall! Oh no! <laughs> Actually shot the door frame instead of the Ana, he would have killed him. That's so unfortunate. Man, you're get flattened out there, dear lord. Man, I can see the uh, the wheels turning inside its head. It, it's very slow. Ah, here we go. It's time for Sex Dragon. The dude's literally just so nice. I just sorry, self. Oh, dear. Is there any reason why we're not using the right side flank door? I feel like it would make your life easier. No? We're just going to ignore it.
Well, at least we got Mercy by accident. That helps. Uh, that's fine, mate. Uh, IGN means in-game name. So I need to know who you are so I know who I'm actually reviewing. Sona Arrow! Sona Arrow, so you know where they're standing! Make a concerted effort! For yourself! Oh, Jesus, you are so dead. <laughs> yeah, honestly, though, you kind of earned that for standing there for so long. But, that, like, what's the point in being Hanzo if you're not going to Sona Arrow the wall and then just go and then just ulti, like, over the top of it? Like, it's just so free! It was so free! It would have actually just won you that point. shot all right sex star yep <laughs> I was gonna say do you reckon he heard the Hanzo arrow that's probably being shot at him not nope. not nope, didn't hear it he didn't hear it at all no worries Pandy let me know how it goes I'm ready to celebrate I mean, Sex Dragon is great and all, but I'm really, I'm really just sad that you got killed by that uh, that enemy Hanzo ult. The Winston got nanoed as he jumped back. That's fucking saddening. Oh, Rube's there to save the day. That was a uh, that was a fucking moment. That whole play, that all of that was just a moment. Shot. We hit those. Man's actually used Sonic Arrow to be able to see where he was going. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I still hate how much the Sonic Arrow just reminds me of Bioshock. Sex Dragon time? Nope, not necessary. <clears throat> that was just funny. The Mercy, she's just standing there, Reinhardt doesn't put the shield up, and she just cops an arrow in the face and then dies. Love that. Sonic Arrow getting work. Shot. That's the play right there. It's starting to come together now. Didn't Bioshock come out in the 80s? No, System Shock came out in the 90s. Bioshock came out in uh, mid 2000s. I think System Shock is late 90s. Or er very early 2000s. And then Bioshock came out in in the mid-2000. Like 2005. Yeah, I know. Quiet, you. Don't make me feel older than I already am. Mm -mm. Did you play Wolfenstein? I played a bit of it. It's more of a Doom and Quake enjoyer as a kid, though. I really should get into the Wolfenstein games again because, you know, who doesn't want to kill some Nazis? Smart. Oh, it was 2007? Cool. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, that's when I was in Melbourne. That makes sense. What was the shareware game that was like Wolfenstein trying to think? What do you mean shareware game?
Can, can we go for the for the Anna, not the soldier? Oh, oh you could have killed the yeah, whatever. I missed all the Blake's don't. I got no idea. No idea what you're talking about, Rubes, unfortunately. Yeah, I didn't play a lot of those at all. Huh. Funny. Shareware club meetups. Those are a f those are a freaking rarity, Rube. Base tag in the right now's not good. That storm arrow sound is unpleasant. Clearly not a Bioshock enjoyer. Smile. So hopefully we can do this without getting too close to No <laughs> Uh the the sadness of like everyone trying to waddle to the point as fast as possible there at the end was hilarious. Like the Zeus skin sounds for Junker Queen. I am not a fan of the way that she says uh let's take them to the underworld. It sounds so not right. Look, depending on what side of the point you're on, it makes sense if the Reinhardt's on that side. But yeah, everyone just C9s because the, the tank dies on point. Feels bad. Very, very sad. Pew! That re-peak attempt again. Uh, shot. Sated has come to life, I see. Are you planning to sell out or are you planning, you just want to be in the queue? Mr. Meat Boy. All the skin change? Yeah, probably. Skins make the man. But he didn't change the skin on Widow, so it's still bad. Man, the re-peaking only makes it weirder. But we got there in the end. Oh, there we go. Double. Double kill. Almost a triple, but we missed the soldier. Solid start. Shot. That dude's definitely in a safe spot. You can't hit that one. Yeah, so are we going to notice the Reinhardt's charging around here? Nope. <laughs> Unfortunate ending there. Ah yes, the widow versus widow interaction.
No reaction from either side there. Hilarious. Oh man. Man just greeted for it twice in a row. Finally gets punished. That's that's the big difference. It's just purely greeting out for it twice in a row. And only getting punished once at the very end. Close. We win, but at what cost? My my brain cells. Going for a ride. Can we go for anyone but the Reinhardt? Apparently not. You only just re there are three seconds left, and you only just realized. VOD means replay. VOD means replay. I like how we're th three seconds to the end, and Sated remembers what the game is. Oh, dear. So, yeah. Bit too much greed. Bit too many repeaks. And a bit of, a, a bit of an awkwardly strange investment of just trying to kill the tank this game. You had the right idea, though, and when you actually remembered what you were doing, you were fragging everything else that moved, but... Yeah, it's a weird one. It is a weird one, indeed. A hog enjoyer, huh? Okay. <laughs> I know he means in-game sensitivity, but he wrote game sense as a Ted. That's funny. It's obviously an accident, but yeah. I have a feeling our friend here is Russian. Yeah, I just noticed this Discord tag. But yeah, I can definitely add you to my queue. I'm just not sure you'll be done today unless Ruby takes pity on you and decides to bump you up the queue. <clears throat> What's the plan, Ruby? You gonna you gonna do it? Thank you, Sander, for the vote, by the way, and thank you, Ruby, for the sell out you'll rock Sounds like not a DJ, but I need a bit more than just I'm a hog, mate. Useless meat boy. Please tell us in one sentence something interesting about you and why you want to be rev VOD reviewed. Why do you need a coach so bad?
<laughs> I miss 90% of hooks. Me too, Sag. Okay, let's do it. The best kind of pity is the one where there's empathy. It's empity. <laughs> The best kind. So you saw it in this one, Rube? Looks like the Meat Boy gets a... Yeah, looks like Meat Boy gets a quick way in. Isn't that lucky? All right, Meat Boy. So 400 DPI, 10 in-game. Dude's got to be a CS player at some point. Uh, Diamond what? You've put, you've written here diamond. I need a diamond and a number. What number? Only one because of your supports. Understandable. Diamond three. All right. He's diamond three. He's playing hog on circuit royale. This is some... Whoa. This is some pain. <laughs> you you going to be okay, Rube? Can't the world by following all the rules. Man. Dude reminds me of a young me playing Roadhog on every map. That was how I started. I was a Roadhog one trick. Long time ago. Very long time ago. Even when he was terrible. Oof. Cridge hog one trick. I was the best, mate. Don't lie. I was the fucking best. Diamond 3 apparently misses 90% of his hooks. Where's the Executioner Gimp skin? And yeah, good times ahead. And so hopefully we'll place the trap in front of ourselves so we can get a nice Yankee G. Good start. Are you gonna do something? The best say, did you really wait that whole time just to hook the tank who has fortify? Like you can just put the pig pen down and this literally like hang on. You're literally standing here in this doorway. Why not just lean out, put the pig pen down here, and just literally just lean out and grab someone off the fucking top here? I don't get it. He was right there. They were right there waiting for you. That's insane. It like throws their entire plan out of whack as well because they're like one of their squishies on low ground is a fucking win for you. Like, why would you go for Orisa in this situation? This is torture. This is actual torture. Living up to the... Ne you're not wrong, eh? Hanzo doesn't even fucking react to you being up there, which is hilarious. Most of the times I'm just blind. Bro, I get that the current Roadhog skin is literally blind as shit, but you can quite clearly see... If I say, don't, fa don't face tank the Bob, just fucking hide. Just hide! Fuck the Bob! No one cares about Bob, just hide! Just let it finish. Let the paint... Let the point finish! There you go. Easy. Good grab, but unfortunately... Dingos... The fact that you have a wife lever just makes this funny as hell. That was a good grab. It's funny that it actually hit, but we got there in the end. Oh, here we go. This is you. This is all you. No, kill the... If you don't look away, I'm actually just pissed that you look away from the fucking thing at the most inopportune time. If you don't look away from Sombra, you kill her instantly. That's silly. So silly. Is this Roadhog skin in the battle pass? Right, I understand you want to wait, but you can see the direction he's going and you can walk at him. If you take this bloody long to get it done, it's only going to make things worse. Grab him! Finally! There you go. Fucking hell. All that stress and for what? Never seen a hog player so scared in my entire life. The whole point of playing this character is that you know you can kill people when you pull them into range of you. Like you gotta just give them a yoink. Give them a give them a good old yoink, mate. 
Yeah, kill that tank, surely. There you go. You just cancelled your reload. Don't know if you're aware of that. Guess he's not aware of that. I miss 90% of hooks, he says. He literally does a no a no look yeet into a pull. He does a side pull without any issue at all. Fuck it, this guy. Knows exactly what he's fucking doing. Nice kill. Dude's just got the confidence of a dead cat. That's the problem. He was so just unsure about what he was supposed to be doing that he just missed like such an easy fucking hook on that Sombra. It's all fear. Can't be, can't be afraid as Rodog. You gotta be just that little bit, like that little bit overconfident, you know? Cause you gotta know that you can hit that hook if they, if they give you that inch. Maybe I got played. I think we all got played a little bit. To be fair though, like it's quite clear that he is like inting his brains out. Don't get me wrong. Drink, 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 drink. I mean the, the, I mean, that's the level of faith I was not expecting. But if you'd, if you'd have def taken a breather before you pressed ulti and then pressed it after the the Kitsune comes out, it's probably not even an issue there either. But I was just, I really believe that if you actually like had not pressed that, it was free. It is kind of funny that the enemy supports are literally not playing Ana or Zen. This is literally like... You, you are actual worm food if you if they are playing actual supports. Fucking mercy bat, dude. I mean, the, the dude switches to Diva so that he can uh, matrix your hook, which is funny as hell. This is probably the hardest part for you now because you're just so like stuck away from the enemy. This is it again. Like, I feel like the tracer is so predictable there too and you, you waste that hook too early. Where is the Kazuno? Nice. Break. Well, that's the thing. If you miss that hook, you are automatically not a threat anymore. So, like, if you hang on to your, hang on to your hook, and give them the actual like threat of you having it, and will grab them with it, it's automatically a win. Like. The whole saying of we'd rather have it and not need it rather than need it and not have it like literally applies to the enemy. Like if they are aware that you have it and they are, f they should be very scared of getting grabbed by you in the first place. But if you miss it, you are fucked. Absolutely fucked. And that's like the big problem is that you're just, you're getting to a point now where the enemy is very much aware of you wasting it and they're just punishing you so hard. You would have pulled the Diva Woman to your team. I mean, that's reasonable and also not a good idea. Just throwing them as fast as my CD is letting you. I mean, that's fine, but it, that only counts if you're actually hitting them on targets that matter, right? If you completely miss it, it's it's bad, like beyond bad. Because there's absolutely no other gain that you'll get from it.
Nice grab. The fact that you can do sideways like pulls without even caring is a good sign. The problem is, you, it, it's what leads up to that is what's hurting you the most. So I, you would have got more value just throwing your pig pen directly at the Orisa and just not showing your face out of that cover until you were full and then just falling back further and just going for another hook on a DPS like it's so bad watching you put yourself in this situation to try and kill an Orisa like you're never going to kill an Orisa ever not 1v1 not without a lot of help Waste the hook again. You're literally standing on the guy and you miss it. Like, you should have just taken a second. I say, plus, we're in the middle of Kitsune. Press buttons. You had, you had drink. You had drink cooldown available to stop that. You gotta start sipping more. Like, to just mitigate that burst damage. Like, you can see damage that's coming in. If you actually press the take a breather button... Just for that damage mitt, you would you would save a lot of pain. Why would Ram Block be on a resource meter? <gasps> oh, I hate Wife Leader so much. That that free shot at Bastion goes out the fucking window because of that. I can tell why if you would have got tilted after this one because you go to hit, you go to hook Bastion and kill him and you get life gripped out of it. That's just fucking sad. Everyone despises Wife Lever for that exact, exact same reason, but that was just sad. The problem is everyone falls into this fucking, like, I don't know what it is. It's a trap, I guess? That they just feel like that Orisa like should die first because she just puts herself in that position. But that's the thing. Who gives a fuck? Like It's Orisa, like she can withstand being in that position. If she lines her entire team like she does there and you grab her into that barricade when she's got low health, then yeah, alright, that's that's worth looking at. Drink, drink. No oh, mind you got Susie, it's fine. She's always one, but she's always 50% damage reduction. Smile. Smile. I mean, I don't see you grabbing that Widow at any point, so that's fine. Free alt charge, though. What? What are you hoping to gain from pulling someone up from there? Like, even on any angle, not a single DPS is going to get killed instantly without any sort of backup. Like, you aren't hoping to hit anything, and you can see that people are trying to engage here. Why not just wait? Like, the good news is it's a six-second cooldown hook, right? So, you know, constantly stunning people in fights is fine and dandy. 
But the part that's awkward is that I just don't understand why you would think it's a good idea to put yourself in that position over and over again without wasting it, you know? Just a giant waste of cooldowns. Because they literally got the entire... They had the entire ability to, like, slow you down there because, like, you as Rodog don't have the resources to actually manage that fight. Quick ball. Yeah. Only ball player I've seen actually not use a shield at all. Unfortunately. If you're going to do stalls like that, you got to land, like within people and just start actually using your fucking steroid like your shield steroid just pile drive off the payload pile drive off the payload If you do the pile driver off the payload, which you should have done earlier, you would have been okay. You can't pile in, in cage. Hang on, just before that. It's before that. It's before when he comes in. I think I said it a little bit too late. Just give me a sec. It's when. Hang on. It's here that I wanted him to do it. Oh, he gets trapped at the same time. Never mind. It's fine. He gets trapped at the same time. You are correct. I thought when he when he got there, I thought he actually had a chance to, to pile drive him before Morga came back. But he actually gets caged right as Morga, Morga comes in. So, yeah, you, you guys are correct there. That's fine. That's fine and dandy. You can still, um... You can still ball roll while you're in the in the cage, right? There's no issue there. It just goes back to it anyway. Dear Lord. Or are you just stuck in standard form while you're in there? Can roll but no grab. Okay. Can you slam? You can't slam. You definitely can't slam. Oh. I've got to be honest with you. I think that's one of the first times I've ever seen a Morga ball interaction. <laughs> Truthfully. This full crab champion. That's reasonable. But I still thought he had time beforehand to actually, like, to actually hit it. Because truthfully, the only time you saw Morga was when Morga was overpowered, and that made it Morga versus Morga. And, like, Rodog is a direct counter to Morga anyway, so it's fine. Actually, they both they both directly counter each other, if I'm being honest with you. He had it right the first time, but he just didn't have anyone there with him in that tight space. Just attempting. This is an attempt. Still standing on open space and attempting. 50-50, yeah. Ugh. Well, they both have the obscene healing resources to make up for it. 1v1 he will, but the idea is to have people there. And I didn't... There was no one there with you, which is unfortunate. Drink, drink. Yeah, Morga being alone is the, is the recipe you want there, but we don't have any help. Plus, your team has the Ana, theirs doesn't. Which is an automatic win for you. If you actually pull... Morga forwards away from his teammates into a into Anna Grenade, you should win that. Yep, good. So you gotta make it into the Yeah. You gotta make it into the Kitsune when you go for that. Makes it very easy. Very easy. Confidence and awareness. Biggest issue. Biggest issue by a mile. The tunnel visioning on the tank is bad, but at least that can be fixed. But, yeah. Confidence, awareness, tunnel visioning. They're the main things that are just screwing you up. You got to be way more confident about your position when you actually go forwards like that. And you got to hit those hooks.
I don't know why I'm so obsessed with enemy attacks. That's why I got tunnel vision or anything like that. You got to. I'm sure if you think about the old days of Roadhog, where, um, you know, like you were a tank shredder through and through with the, with the pellet gun that you had, which is fine to think about, but that's not the case anymore. Now you fire three giant balls, and those three giant balls do everything that you need against anyone. Use the tunnel vision, wins the one tricks or something, which is fine. But yeah, the main thing is that unless their head is big enough to actually absorb those balls front on, you are not going to get any better with DPS. You will do at least manageable enough damage to anyone generally. But the whole point is that like that normalized damage means you should be going for anybody, not just not just people that are close range, not just tanks. But wasting hook on a tank that's not like being spaced away from their team is wasteful. It's actually what the enemy tank wants, especially if it's an Orisa, because Orisa can just fortify through it and not care. Or just like any other tank can just like spend their defensive despite that and usually get away with it, right? That's not going to happen for a DPS. Like at least when they had the Diva, you like you're like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to press it in spite of the Diva, and the Diva will go ahead and do the matrixing. That's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is, you know? Those are the sorts of things that you can't really fix. Yeah, that about covers that. You've definitely got potential, young meat boy. Definitely be good to see more of your VODs in the future. Okay, that covers that. Thank you very much for your VOD. I will see you again soon. Oh, are any of them actually... Vi is that what he, he... He just sent me a picture and no, and no context at all. Are any of them viable? I have no idea what that one on the left is. All I see is red. Uh, the Gigantus V2 is okay. For like basic stuff. Y'all are like out on the town right now, right? Just go to fucking go to IKEA and buy the one there. The land spillar. Very cheap, very good. If this is for you anyway, Pandy, just do that. Seriously. Do that. Tell Solus I'll send him a copy of the guide later so he can read on my behalf. Oh, wait, he wants a cloth pad. No, they're all terrible. <laughs> if he wants one, they're all terrible. You're also getting a pink or a blue mask. Yeah, that's not surprising. All right, Carson, you're up. Okay. Return of the Femboy Nuts. This is plat for DPS. DPS? What is going on here? The Dippers gameplay? Oh, and Ash is tanking. Okay, that makes a little more sense. I fought a bunch of you bastions once. 
You all had meals and big sharp teeth. <coughs> On second thought, that might have been a dream I had. Thank you, me boy, for the follow. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope to see you again soon, mate. Awesome. All right. Fanboy nuts. Doing DPS things. Y'all can hear the turret going off and no one's ripped. <laughs> that was very silly. That Doomfist, oh dear. This is so free. Is it, you can just go high and you'll be fine now. There's no one that's going to stop you. Doofus is back because we took so much time to kill anyone else. One below you. There's the, the Kiriko. Yep. Oh man, this is not good. And so if you had to have waited patiently for that long to get nothing, that's really sad. <laughs> you shouldn't be doing that at all, meat boy. That's that, that should be the lesson. This Doomfist is inting his brains out. What the hell? The fact that that Doomfist is alive and you're almost dead is just freaking hilarious to me. Taking way too long to capitalize on these shots. Shot. Misses the Kiriko again. Doesn't pay attention to the... To, oh, God. Oh, dear. Like, I feel like most Widow players should know this by now, but I feel like the only person you should be targeting first and foremost is the one who's the most deadly to you. And then from there, you can start taking out whoever the fuck you want. Because you'll have free reign. Seems kind of nasty to have not actually thought about this at all, but dear lord, you are not paying attention to that. Or able to hit that shot, which is just making it weirder. No one can hide World's saddest reload cancel? Lol Spear, though. Fucking Orisa moment. So kill the Kiriko. In their case, it's either Doomfist or Kiriko are like the first people who will, who will probably die. Unless you're close enough to get shot by Cass, in which case you get rid of him too. But since no one's threatening him at this point in time, it's fine. But now you see the Kiriko clearly going for it, and Doomfist is clearly about to engage on you. You should be prepared for that, but neither of those become the case. But there's the trait. Because he's too far forwards. It's far enough forwards to get completely clapped by this shit. Just gonna go back to his death. Give me a sec. As I see, they they appear to have a widow now, do they? No, he just doesn't have a widow at all. He just gets double ulted. Even funnier. Even funnier. Could have actually like grappling hooked forwards towards the barricade in front of you, but no. Nope. Gonna get completely clapped by both of them. Very funny. Very hilarious. waiting for him. what are you doing <laughs> you knew he was gonna <laughs> just 
This is so tough. You have earned your death here today. Someone needs to fill this saddle. What's the hold up? Get that thing moving. My order went to one That grenade shouldn't be thrown until that Doomfist is either charging is charging at you. Like literally charging at you. Cause it will cancel as long as it sticks to him while, uh, before he hits you. Just trying a little too hard for that. Don't ever fan the hammer without full ammo. Ever. Terrible. So I'm trying to answer Solus's DMs while I'm doing this this VOD review, and it's uh, it's not going well, as you can see. Not having roll available for that is just plain sad. What do you wish I try to pick up at the moment? If you're just sticking to um to hit scan, just play cast. Let's see some f flickety goodness and just play it the same way you play Ilyari. Just give it a sec and just shoot. Just click on click on click. That's all it is. Can you actually survive high newt if you roll? Yes. Assuming your assuming your timing's correct and he hasn't charged it for longer than three seconds, you'll be fine. If he charges high newt to the fullest on you and then you roll, you'll still die. Because like it still multiplies past that point, so the numbers get a bit scary. Pengu is goofy, yes. That's a good dynamite. But I say at that point you're supposed to pull out of the of the ADS and just go for the standard shot. Don't forget when you're actually in that position, you can actually do the scope shot and let go of it at the same time and go straight for a standard and it will give you enough burst to kill a target that low. You are trying a little bit too hard to go through the front towards the back. You really should be trying to flank a little bit harder. Or at least be off-angled enough so that people are, you know, worried about that. Or just straight back up into the flanking soldier. Feels bad, man. Bit of mystery heroes going on. You feel that pain? Charoo. I'm, I'm mildly sad that the enemy, like... Doomfist has entered his brains out the majority of this game and we haven't like capitalized on that at all by killing a single backliner that irks me so bad it, it should be so free and easy for you to do just may things very sad very sad start Sombra. Ugh, the Bombra starter.
Nice kill. Good engage, but yeah, wasn't enough there. Ten DPS to go. I mean, we're basically running through it. Vice well, is kind of OP. It's only OP if you actually get hacked in advance. It's pretty ass otherwise. Should hack that health pack though. If you hacked that health pack, you would have been in a better position to actually go back and get it. But yeah, the health bath definitely made virus pretty average, but since it crits if you hack them and it does and it still does the faster damage when you hack them, it's still viable. I gotta be honest with you, I still think the space smuggler skin is ugly. I'm sorry, Rube. I, ca I can't look at it with the with any majesty at all. I feel like you're gonna get death threats if you do that. Just leave the name as it is and just only play Sombra. Interesting. was the strangest interaction. Everyone just tried to run together into that fight and everything went wrong. It's getting better aim-wise, but it's still very sloppy. At least you're using a gold gun, not a jade gun. Although Space Smuggler with Jay gonna probably make it at least look better. Smile. You are way too far forward. So if there's downtime, you should be reloading, but in no universe should you be engaging without, like, while reloading. That's just silly. I don't take kindly to being knocked down. I aim to devastate. I find it so odd that you're still being so aggressive as Widow. I mean, like, there are parts where it's working when you're actually on and off angle, but there are just so many, like, awkward moments where, like, if you if people weren't just walking straight into that shot, you would just be very much just caught out in front of Doomfist for nothing. It's very silly. Like, you're just trying too hard at this point, and it's just costing your team resources. Now you don't have grappling hook for a while now. If they had engaged during this time, you would have been pretty screwed. Oh wait. Oh wait! Just predicted it. Never mind. 
because you can't react to it at all even if you wanted to and you make it funnier by not reacting at all anyway because reasons that's pretty silly I do just straight up missed you. That's crazy. The fact that you're alive here is a fucking miracle. That was a good shot. Where was his aim the rest of this fucking match? Oh god. Why is it you immediately default to doing that? Like, I don't like that your default idea is, oh shit, I'm not hitting anyone from the high ground, better jump off and get myself killed in the process. Like, fucking hell, man. Just absolutely putting yourself in the bin. such a ruby thing to do <laughs> can i coach you yeah also elo hell's a myth don't act don't act up in my dms i'll send you the, the info for it but i don't i doubt you're going to get vod reviewed soon unless you pay the sellout cost so you might have to wait till next patch but there's the info in your dms Elo hell is real, it's any Elo I'm in. Yeah, because you're making it hellish for everyone else. Shut the fuck up, Rogers, mate, you big noob. <clears throat> any Elo I'm in, I terrorize that Elo. See, there you go. What's with all the mute icons with new people today? Because people don't like to listen. Or they like to pretend that they're not listening. I don't know. It's, who knows? Who knows, bro? Sorry, chat. I thought I heard something. Uh, not in a good way. Obviously not. That's what terrorizing means, you idiot. But yeah, uh, Carson, bit of aim training obviously won't go astray, but I just can't understand the life of me why you just have this strange idea of just charging off of a good position because you miss a couple of shots. Because you're just getting yourself killed over and over again. You had the patience at the beginning of the fucking match, and that was fine. But yeah. It could only get worse if you keep putting yourself in that position. So stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. All right. Yeah, this is a good idea. Okay, Zeus. Young Zeusinator is up. So this is a gold one tonk. Gold one tonkarino. All right. Coliseo, ew. Big Sigma gameplay? A lot of weird names on the enemy team here. You see it, chat? Some strange ones. Alright, chat. Some Ligma gameplay. Actuating the barrier. 
It's a bit weird, isn't it? Some safe gamers indeed. Oh, big stretch. Good cat. Nice grab. The actual damage start off isn't particularly terrible. Lucky they walked into that rock. Couldn't finish off that kill though, feels bad. Never mind, they got it. Shield actually getting work. Pull it back, go to the other one. That's a rock. That is a good barrier. Honestly, doing that both times to stop the healing was fucking perfect. Well done. The actual barricade usage is good. It's unfortunate that it broke right in front of you instead of just you using the grasp after pulling it back, but... This is about as aware as it gets, really. Not a fan of you constantly swinging away from your target to throw that rock. At least the other two times someone walked into it and that helped you, but that doesn't really mean a whole lot in the long scheme of things. Your aims to stay alive this long, you should have been grasp grasping way earlier. Way earlier. It's only made worse by the fact that they missed all those shots. It's either take the death way earlier or just fucking... Yeah. Because you don't, you don't want to stop the bot from pushing towards you, so you just stand on the bot and make them kill you. And then with the reset, everyone comes back together and you can just go ahead and use your ulti right on this point for free. Take it too long otherwise. It takes way too long. Okay, so surely... Never mind, Reaper's dead already. Feels bad. We could have just ulti. We're going to ulti? There were three people on top of each other. Hello? How do we go into button? I mean, it's about as good as it gets for a grasp, so well done. The accidentally grabbing Kiriko out the back is pretty nice. Nice grab. Very nice grab. That's a, that's a fucking trade, that is. Well done. Well done. That was actually huge. Well done. You just got to remember to use cover a, a bit more and you'll be right as rain right now. Venture main? True. Gonna become a venture main. That's not going to make it. A record Five, interval Christian. and moving further still. It's off brand for me to pick up characters when they haven't been nerfed yet. Weren't you literally a May and Sombra main before the big nerfs? I swear you were. Now you're dead. Unfortunately, there is nothing you can do about that when that happens. I only accept one code at a time, and they have to be ranked games. Sakura. Thinking about Sojo. The Sojo one was kind of funny. Nice grab. You need to use cover more. 
The whole point of using the barricade is to like block burst damage as you're like stuck between cover and not cover. And then you can just immediately go back to cover without any issues. And that will just continue to make that zoning area easier for you. But you're not like making the most of that ti that timing at all. Nice barricade. I feel like we took a little too long to use that uh, that gravity suck though. A lot of those like issues there were just purely because of just not using cooldowns faster. But a lot of it is just like you're not hitting like rocks and combos that fast either because you're just constantly on the back foot. A lot of that being because of the like the area you're stuck in without cover, no like ability to do anything. Yeah, it would have been good if he ulti there, but the problem is he put himself on the back foot because he took all that damage before he came in. So he doesn't have any like ability to press any of his other like he has to press all of his other buttons before he can press his ultimate and that just creates more more of a time loss. Just ult man, please. There are three people idling here. Oh, way too late. I mean, the good news is we guarantee the kill on Bastion, but that doesn't mean a whole lot in the grand scheme of things. But we let them push all the way around. That, like, we're, This is the thing that people don't realize. When the point gets to here, like just shy of this point, there is no reason why the enemy should pass this unless they actually win a fight. They didn't win a fight. You all just staggered over and over again like idiots and didn't actually like properly punish them in this position at all like you had your ulti to absolutely stomp all of them while they were hand like while they were hanging out on the point together and we just waited so long and they got away with it twice over and still pushed it right past the bridge line that's insane that should never happen like coliseo literally sucks because past the halfway point for both sides it takes forever to push the point it's such a shitty position because of the easy way it is to get collapsed on. You did not action on that at all. It's terrible. Well, someone's doing damage, which is good. If you stagger these two, it's a fucking win, too. Watching Twitch again. Imagine being enthusiastic though, it's too hard. Aim that way too short. At least they both died though, so that's fine. Grasp? Nope. It's fine, just walk out of it. You really got to put that barrier out between the tank and their support line. Like, you're not pressuring him at all. No, it's impossible. It is impossible to be good people in us. It's like... It's like a plague. Positivity is just not here, bro.
Again, if you were using cover on the right side at all during this, this would have been even easier. Nice lick. Missed the second ball though, it feels bad. Now you just lose. Get called to try out. Imagine trying in ranked games, smile. Can't imagine what that's like. Now that's an ult. If you'd have done that the last time when they were grouped up on there, you would have been even further ahead, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, now I know why he sent it in. Now I know why he sent it in. It's just for that. <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, look, it was a good play to end off, but you could have done it twice before that. That's that's the, that's the reason I'm annoyed. It was a good play. Definitely should have been done twice before that. It should have led to a much easier victory. But you know what? Props to you. You actually did see it and do it at this point in time. So well done. I'm proud. I'm just infinitely more... Like, I'm just mildly concerned, right? Just purely because of the fact that you are Sigma not using cover and you're just, you've got really good shield management and cooldown management for the most part, but you have no idea what to do outside of that. And that's where cover comes in handy. When you've actually got the time between those cooldowns to actually keep yourself alive, it pays off immensely. Also, the flicking with the rock is looking pretty good. It's definitely looking like it was stronger than before, but I would really, really like... I would really appreciate it if we were just putting that barrier in between the tank and the support so that their tank is actually like somewhat pressured in those fights because you're putting it like very short in some of them and she's not running into you just yet so you can't actually do that not properly anyway so something to consider for the future as well thank you sakura for following I see your DMs. You really should check your mouse drivers for your DPI. Also, I'll just keep this in mind because, uh, yeah, unless you pay 20 bucks for the um, for the sellout, you'll probably not get done until Monday afternoon my time. So roughly this time on Monday, oh, Sunday night if you're American. But, yeah, it'd be a little ways away. So you'll have to be patient, bud. Sorry to say <sighs> How do I know you're a former CS player by DPI? Yeah, usually by DPI. <laughs> if I meet anyone that's 400 DPI, I automatically assume they're a CS player because they're the only people I know that are insane enough to do that. Oh yeah, Sakura, if you pitch it to Ruby, maybe Ruby takes pity on you and you can uh, get sell out into the front, the front of the queue. If you're the patient type and want to wait, or you can just ask them nicely, tell them what goes on in your game. By the looks of things, this is a Genji main that believes in ELO hell, so that's automatically a, a good start. Rubes? How's that for a lot? It says, here you go, please flame. Said he should ignore the next time he tries to frank you with 400 DPI. Nah. I am impervious. I am impervious to... to sated shenanigans. How can I know where my body is on the list? If you are subscribed, Young Eero, you can see it in the listing in my Discord. There is a listings channel. Or you can pitch it to Ruby and I'll do it right now. Eero versus Sakura in a battle of wits. Just tell Ruby what's, what your body is in the queue and she will consider who to put in.
<laughs> a Genji main actually believing. Have we done a Genji VOD today? Um, fuck, where's Meg when you need him? Where is Meg when you need them? Um, I don't think we have. We did one yesterday. Let me just check Eros in the queue, see if he actually has something good for it. At 5 DPS. Hang on, let's see what Omar plays. Uh, this is a tracer. So we have a we have a tracer and a Genji. Did you ever leave chat already? Asia, a hundred percent harder than any other oh, is. I think my game is really fun. So it's either a Plat 5 Tracer or a Plat 5 Genji. They're both Plat 5. Just for the record, they are both Plat 5. No, Plat 2, sorry. Sakura is Plat 2. I lied. Especially the last fight. I'm not Plat 5, God forbid. Bro, this Sakura person, like, I, I'm, I, I, they, they should pay their own way at this rate. God forbid I even touch gold. Dear God. This is a mouthy kid. I just want to actually, I'm just going to put this out. This is the one that believes that Elo Hell is real. From Singapore. <laughs> Elo Hell is real. <laughs> You're just... Do you play on OS? Or do you play on... Do you technically play on Singapore? What do you got against SG? Absolutely nothing. Just I hate getting fucking put there when I live in Australia. Because it's the actually the worst routing in fucking imaginable. Horrible. So a huge difference between numbers in the same route. Not really. It kind of mattered in GM last season. But the problem now is that it's a bit... Um, it's a bit finicky with the new ranks. So once it evens out a bit, it'll probably matter a bit more. Toast being at home over Christmas. Who the fuck is Toast? <laughs> now nah, you know what, Rubes, just put in for this Sakura person. I've just, I've actually just got to, I've got to actually just flatten this kid. There's no way. There's no way that this person's for real. Unfortunately, Eero was too nice. And he just said, my game has some fun parts in it. And that really doesn't sell for Rubes. You gotta, you gotta bring the drama. She's 40 years old. She's seen everything, man. You gotta, you gotta bring the drama. I think, I think Sakura is going to win. Oh, dear. Let me find my DPI. Oi, wreck. Why did single four socks I want to walk up? Because no suck. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking kill me, Rube. Plat to obligatory Genji. Is Elo Hell real? We will find out momentarily. And before Elo Hell only exists because this dude's in it. Ah, oh, fucking hell. It's King's Row. Oh, God. It's King's Row? You about to taint my favorite map as well with your stupidity? Fucking hell. Nihon Genji with gold. Oh, dear. Elo Hell should be rebranded to Ego Hell. It would be nice if it actually, like, existed as that, but no, never going to happen. 
Ignore my first death, though. I was eating too bad. Sorry, hero. You were too nice, mate. To be fair, though, if you're named after that character, then it makes perfect sense that you're the nice person, despite the war crimes. Smile. The fuck is he like hell? It's a meme. People believe that, like, when they can't climb out of a rank that they're in ELO hell because they think that their teammates are holding them back. It's just utter copium. It is not a meme. It's a meme. It's a meme and you're terrible. <laughs> ELO hell, he reckons. <laughs> he can't even climb a gate because he doesn't realize that there's something above him. <laughs> so sh <laughs> we are so we are so set up for this bro oh <sighs> you were eating why are you eating while fucking running at somebody you chimp precog dive Bro, if that if that Romatra could aim, you'd have been dead for that for that silly shit. Dashes right into the face of a fucking of Vap. Somehow lives. You 100 percent should have died twice over there. I didn't die in five seconds. See, now now you now you're embracing the energy hero. You think you disconnected halfway? Yeah, but you're in Elo hell, aren't you? Bit. This dude literally just runs into shit over and over again and somehow lives. If anything, you're in ELO heaven. This is actually ELO heaven. The dude's just not fucking dying to shit he's supposed to die to. <laughs> Face tanking junk rat bombs doesn't make you a chat. It makes you this is so tough. This is not. This is not ELO hell, bro. This is not. Yeah, this is e oh. This dude's inting his brains out. Honestly, Hero, be glad this wasn't you. You actually win this game. Horrible. Actually spoiling it. He's the Genji that created Elo Help, bro. Because I carried... You ain't carried shit right now, bro. You couldn't carry a paper bag. Dude's just eating shit. Yeah, highest damage taken stat. Dude just can't aim. This is gnarly as hell. You need constructive crit. Until you get over the fact that Elo Hell is a myth, you're going to be stuck here for a while. There was no reason to ulti there at all. There was no reason to. I just don't... <laughs> I forgot about that. I bet you forgot about a lot of things, man. <laughs> no, this is definitely the right code, bro. This is 100% the right code. This is definitely the right code. <laughs> This is so... This is definitely the right code. This is a fucking... This is the stooge mobile right here, bro. Oh, my lord. This is definitely the right code. This is... This is the, the moment that you realize that you are in your own hell, man. Oh, man. Why would you go for that? How are you alive? How are you alive, bro? What the fuck? Oh, man. Dude's just dashing into his own death over and over again. As a DPS player, also in flat, this is low-key painful. Like, I need you all to understand, like, y'all can watch each other's gameplay. These are the people that you're versing. Not just the people that you're playing with. The people that you're versing. Like, you need to understand how easy this is to beat. 
How do you miss every shuriken on a fucking Orisa? Holy shit! Nice double dash. Misses every shuriken afterwards. Bro, the fact that your sense is 10 might be telling you everything you need to know. What is your DPI? Have you figured out your DPI yet? Why are you even peeking here? Just let the let the let the point finish, and then let your team creep up so you can do that. Busy hearing you flame the shit. I mean, you you can multitask. You're a human being. <laughs> he just stops. <laughs> Apparently you alt tab for no reason. Oh, I can fix that one for you, actually. I don't know who this Toast Warrior person is, but I, I'm definitely seeing how you're having a good giggle out of this, groups. Oh, I swear I didn't even press tab. Are you on Windows 11? Oh, bro. This dude just... Lives in the th help. I have a problem. Can you do a bot for me? I can add you to my queue, but I'm going to be finishing up soon. Unless you pay the 20 to get sell out queue and get ahead, I probably won't be able to do this until Monday. If you want that, exclamation mark VOD and just get yourself into my DMs with the info that I require from my Discord. Won't take you long. And it, you'll, you can be VOD reviewed on the Monday. If you're Unless you're in a hurry, then yeah, it's 20 bucks US to get ahead of the queue because I'm finishing up soon. <clears throat> I don't understand why you just insist on just running front, th like through the front line and just getting murdered. Just murdered. Utter, utter murder. You, you said it gets better. I, 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 before you said it was the wrong code, now you think it's getting better? Like, wh wh which, which is it? Which is it, bro? Which, which, which actually is it? Because all we've watched you do at this point is claim Elo Hell is real and then int your brains out. You're not Necros. If anything, you're just necro. Like, in the sense that, you know, you're necrotic. You're fucking dead. Like, your corpse is rotting right here in the middle of chat. Like, what is going on? <laughs> I'm sick. Hey, to be fair, you have more potential, Meat Boy, than fucking old mate does right here in your respective position. Even if you are playing Road Dog on Circle Royale like a psycho, you've got more potential. There is safety in numbers. <clears throat> I assume Mr. Help, I have a problem, is not able to hear what I said, so I'm just going to exclamation mark bot in chat. <clears throat> Hanzo or Cassidy play. He was an ad. <clears throat> um, I'm going to be finishing up stream soon. So if you do want to get a VOD in today, you'll have to pay the $20 sellout fee. If you want, if you don't mind waiting, just follow the instructions, send them to my DMs and I'll probably do you late on the Monday afternoon. So your Sunday night, if you're American, that will be the next one to that thoughts on your charm. I mean, it's funny looking. Unfortunately, it won't make you a better player. Someone else can pay from now on. I mean, to be fair, I think Sakura should have paid his own way for this level of silliness. If, any, if you're going to believe that Elo Hell is real in my chat, you have to pay your own sell out queue at this rate. Did you figure out your DPI yet, by the way? Why did you Why did you dash into that? But it is. It's not real, bro. It's not. Elo Hell is a result of ego death in a, in a competitive video game. That's all it is. If you actually used... I'm going to say, if you actually used your dash reset to grab the health pack, you might have lived there. But the funny thing is, you actually do it late as can be, and then we end up missing... Holy hell. Dude's missing everything.
Dude's just not paying attention to anything in this game at all. Are you going to blame your teammates for that one? I would go out and I would have and go to what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? I feel sorry for Eero now. Now Eero's got to watch this shit and feel bad as well. <laughs> Your tag's fault. <laughs> oh, he actually hits a perfect shuriken. Then dashes into a wall and gets stuck. A nice wasted reset. What's your streaming schedule? So, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays at roughly start between 9 and 10 a.m. Aussie Eastern Time. So, I've been streaming for four hours now. So, about four hours prior to now is when I start on those days. So, turn up whenever you want, my friend. Also, if you want to support me, you can support me by subscribing to me on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Rec9 best place to be oh here we go 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 dude literally almost missed every single blade of oh lord well at least he actually got kills with it because fucking early almost didn't the smith's charmless man oh bro you really testing my memory with that one i was like qp last night i said it looks okay i'm starting my genji arc now because i told her i'm gonna do a genji one i saw immediately after my soggy soggy nano blade that killed no one soggy nano blade that's a fucking that's a way to put it soggy nano blade The one thing that Genji has over you by default is that he can actually aim shurikens. Dead ass. Just dead ass, man. I bet you you're talking in all chat too. That's the funniest part. Is that I bet you're still talking in all chat despite that. I never. I don't believe you. I love how you get cold feet mid-flight because you realized you've come in with that while everyone's looking at you. Did you see that kill? I saw Reaper int his brains out, is what I saw. <laughs> oh, Ruby with the fucking savagery in my chat. Oh my lord. <laughs> That's set up. Holy shit. No, nah, no, no. Hang on. Someone's got to screenshot that. Please. Please. Please screenshot that. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, fuck it. Hang on. Hang on. I'm getting a screenshot myself. Fuck this. Hang on. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Hang on. <sighs> hey, you said Elo Hell is real. You make your own bet at this point. Where's my where's the memes channel? Fucking pinned. I I just I just pinned the, the thing that I just don't worry, I got you a good one. I got you a good one to to keep. I'm actually sending this to my missus. This absolute zinger was... <clears throat> Is this bullying a minority? <laughs> Genji OTPs on a minority. <laughs> it's like dealing with pests. <laughs> Needs to be done. <laughs> Needs to be fucking done. That was such a fucking... That was such a good zinger. Holy shit. That was a fucking zinger. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh no, not again. The fuck it, the nano, the nano blade. The nano blade. <laughs> oh, that was awful. Oh god. Bro, Elo Hell is not real. Oh, these people are not real. <laughs> Bro, this whole VOD on its own has to go into a highlight reel. What do I gain from this? What do you mean? Perspective, yeah. Perspective is definitely the fucking answer there. Oh, man. Don't worry. At the end, you get a summary of everything you did wrong. But fuck it hell. Oh, just... I'm just... I'm, I'm actually just sad... At the same time that I had to watch this. <coughs> Stop bragging in 1v1. Pandy, don't. Not today. This is... You're already having such a good day. You can't make it worse. Can't sully the good day you're having with these shenanigans. Invert this fucking guy. I think I feel like both the Genjis are actually trying for like who is actually the worst Genji. Oh, man! After that comment, you have earned everything you've received today. That wasn't funny at all. You just dumb. Solus isn't even here. What the fuck? Seven C. Jesus. Uh, can't save the children, man. We can't save the children. He traded his soul for Ruby to sell out. Fuck it, eh? God, you s kids just dumb. <sighs> he means Genji. <laughs> He ain't growing up anytime soon. He could be 18 or 80. Insane Blade, no, was it? Hang on, let's double check. See, that's kind of the problem, Meat Boy, is all Genjis do this and they think it's worth something, but half the time it's not. Oh, it's another Nano Blade. I mean, at least you had a first target in mind, so that makes it a serviceable blade, but it's a nano blade, and it definitely could have resulted in you killing four people instead of three. That's okay. After watching my own game, I now know I'm Necros. You're an idiot. <laughs> Just all that bravado, and for what? <clears throat> like, why are you attempting to do this? Kid's just getting stuffed into a fucking locker in the corner, wondering why, like, wondering why he's losing matches. Like, I don't know, man. Maybe because you're doing this. It's called stalling. Stalling what, bro? Your own growth? You literally could have waited for them to have actually funneled in and then picked someone off on a flank. You're dashing in, like, five... Like, you're 1v5. You're gonna get fucking killed. Oh, I'm so glad we get to go to overtime so I can watch more of this brain melting experience. <sighs> Need Solus to do the ego diff this job? Bruh. Just bruh.
Imagine a world where Genji players realize Orisa can be headshot by Cassidy instead of relying on Nanoblade every three. <laughs> I think I'm actually getting better after watching this. Probably. You'll learn. You, today you're going to learn just to, like how absolutely insane it is to claim ELO Hell when you play like this. You can't you can't make the claim for ELO Hell at all. <clears throat> yes, Pandy. I'll come back next time when I'm Masters. I'll believe that when I see it, but I expect you to be back here next week being Plat 3. <clears throat> three You're going to stop being mean to a child. That's reasonable. <clears throat> Is the line out, by the way? You never told me. Masters in Singapore enjoy the three-hour queue. True. <clears throat> Yeah, it's fast because you're in plat, not in masters. Waiting on bloods? Okay, no worries. How do you miss Shuriken's close range like that? It, that, it takes an actual skill to miss that hard. Actual, like, reload cancelling four times over, fucking missing shurikens and having to melee. Just fucking kill me. Good luck, Pandy. It'll be hilarious. How do you actually flick away from your target? Like, my god. <clears throat> you, you couldn't hit water if you fell out of a boat, bro. That ass. Like, you actually couldn't hit water if you fell out of a boat. This is insane. fuck if i had to do this for free i'd be fucking i'd be having migraines right now he sends his 10 he doesn't know what his dpi is because he's a chimp where's your dpi go get your dpi right now right now dpi I love how there's five seconds left and he's standing next to the point instead of going to the point. The best part is he could have built the ult before going towards the point for this and he would have still made it for the overtime in time and he wouldn't have had that nano wasted on him at all. It would have actually been better if it was on anyone else and they still won. <laughs> You're, you are in ELO heaven. I'm telling you this right now. You are in ELO heaven. There is You had no business winning this game at all. None. Not a single way. You... Oh, man. Actual ELO heaven moment. Holy fuck. <clears throat> there is actually no way. There is no way. Now, go get your DPI. Immediately. <clears throat> There's no way that's sated. If sated was that, was that silly, I'd beat his ass. <clears throat>
If Sa- if Sade had actually reduced himself to playing Genji like this just to try and get a rise out of me, I'd still beat his ass. <clears throat> I'm waiting for your DPI before I give you the rest of this info. I'm actually making sure that you don't have an excuse to run off without anything. Where's your DPI? <clears throat> DPI right now. What mouse do you have? Logitech what, bro? G304. 304? The hell is a G304? Lightspeed wireless gaming mouse with Hero. Oh, yeah, one of those ones. Is ugly. Just because I assume you haven't changed it at all. Apparently there is an LED indicator on your thing that will tell you like what DPI you're on. Oh, that's a razor one. Never mind. I lied. It's a not. It's a razor one, not a thinger. I lied. It's a razor one, not not the fucking. Logitech one, and I can't tell which one it is. It's the wrong one. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> I don't know anything about this to be able to figure it out. But I say, aren't you in electronics? Aren't you studying electron? Shouldn't you know about like how to get drivers for a mouse? Fuck. I really, I, I, this, yeah, I think what Ruby said is correct. This does not bode well for your future in electronics. <clears throat> it's not different. What do you mean ancient stuff? Me. Or how old is this mouse? <clears throat> oh, there is one. 800 DPI. Never mind, there is one. I found the manual for it. I found the manual for your fucking thing before you did, and I don't even have that fucking mouse. So you're 800 DPI with 10 cents, which is quite high. And you can't aim a shuriken to save yourself. If you actually... Like, if you... If you're that... Okay. I get that people use higher sensors on Genji so they can do 180 dashes, but surely, since you're 17 years old, surely you're actually, like, strong enough to be able to turn around and do a 180, you thought of making it higher? Are you, like, do you have, like, the most, do you have fucking noodle arms or something? You either have noodle arms or, like, negative space for, for your desk. That's, good. that's, like, the only answer I have. You want to see my mouse, but you know what? Please, please apply shovel to your current hole situation. Take a photo of your desk. Why not? Why not? Why the fuck not? I am, I am ready with, with open arms. 
I want a photo of your fucking of your desk right now. Send it to me in Discord DMs. Since this is the last thing I'm doing today. Including feet. I don't give a fuck about your feet, you fucking weirdo. Just send me a picture of your fucking screen. Why is your foot on the desk? <sighs> oh, you are a fucking heathen. This, this, this kid is a fucking heathen. That's your setup. Oh, we're, we're so doomed, chat. We are beyond doomed. Bro, I can actually see the flex of like, of, I can see the skin flakes in your keyboard. When was the last time you cleaned anything? Chat, this is actually, uh, this is bad. This is beyond bad. I, I wish you the best of luck dealing with this. You cleaned it two months ago. Clean it once a month at minimum. I can literally see the damage to your keyboard. Now, I, I really want to discard the fact that there is a fucking foot present in, in this fucking picture. Why is there a foot on the desk? Yes, unfortunately, Ruby wasted money on putting you further up in the queue. Just for the record. You know what, Aiden? Show me yours. So I can out you right now in front of everybody. I just want to make this clear, right? No, I'm good. Thanks. Fuck you, Aiden. <laughs> you big noob. A Aiden just running away. And no one cares about your damn feet. Fucking degenerate. The foot, the foot pick is not worth 20 bucks. And you're underage, you clown. Just fucking fuck. I've been more angry at a kid in my entire life. You're an idiot. Just get back in your box. Now, this mouse mat, just so we're clear, right? The whole the whole enjoyment of having a mouse mat is so that you can actually use the entire space to move your hand. So if you move this mouse mat to the right and put your... Is that your computer? Your tower's on your desk, huh? It would be better if you could put the tower on the floor so you actually have the desk space to actually, like, put this on your screen, right? Like, so you can actually, like, move... That way you'd actually be able to use your arm to move shit. Yeah, we're not going to talk about how he... He runs on opera, bro. Leave him alone. He's doing his best. Actually, he has Chrome and Opera there. What the hell? Why do you have both of them? But yeah, you really need that fucking, that desk space so you can actually turn. So you can lower your sense. Opera, not bad. They both run the same fucking software, Zeph. What's the difference? It's like that Duff ad in the Simpsons where like it goes like one tube into three. They're all chromium and they come out to like, what is it? Brave, chrome and fucking opera. They all come out to the same shit. So what's the difference? What's the diff? No fucking diff. No diff. The developer tools. Yeah, thank you. Actually built in ad block. That's not going to get fucked by the manifest bullshit. Oh, that's what, that's what you blocks for, bro. Sent yours. Wait, is Aiden actually putting himself in, in the line of fire as well? Oh, he has. Oh, wait, you only... Wait, send a picture of the whole desk, Aiden, not just your keyboard. Although your keyboard looks like it's... Did you dig your keyboard out of a dumpster, Aiden? What the hell? How long have you had this thing? Aiden definitely dug his keyboard out of a dumpster. You blog does block YouTube, because I know because I use it to block YouTube. Oh, wait, this manifest changes soon, is it? Oh, well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll change browsers when that comes around. When's that, Zeph? This is five years old. Aiden, please bin this. 
I'm starting to understand why life is so... I'm actually starting to understand why, why pressing some buttons might be a bit difficult. Look at you two being all cute. Me with your eight-year-old keyboard. Grim. All existing extensions will need to be migrated to V3 by June 2024. That's ah, fine. They'll be migrated by then. They'll be migrated by then, Zeph. It'll be fine. Rick, I spoiled the wrong viewer. Yes, you fucking did, Rubes. Yes, you fucking did. But at least we got a very nice experience of why Genji mains belong in ELO hell. Because all Genji mains are apparently idiots. It was entertaining. I'm glad you found it entertaining because it was mildly painful. Now, the actual thing that you need to understand. You got someone's... Fa uh, why did we want feet? No one wanted feet. No one, not a single soul wanted feet at all. Jesus. Tomorrow? Wait, you, you're going to make me stream on a Saturday, Rube? What the hell's up with that? I can add a foot to my desk because that helps. No. Put your feet away, you degenerates. That's why the dead emoji is next to it. Oh, true. I didn't realize what that, that was. It is Friday, Rubes. Yes, you know, that, that day of the week where things end. My suffering is going to end today. And we'll come back and do it all again on Monday. Fucking hell. Speaking of... Let's see where I'm up to. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen VODs left. You want to do Eero today? You know, Eero, are you still here? Yeah, Eero's in the queue. <clears throat> He is Omar in the queue. You know what? Hero's still here. I wonder if that was because of arcade mode or not, but could I send you a short video where Divas won't well, send me into the stratosphere? If you like, you can send it into uh, into the media channel in my Discord, not just uh, if, if I see the video that I'll look at it for a laugh. Wait, so how much do I need to lower my sense? Honestly, if you actually get that death space sorted out, just half the sensitivity. Our code's boomed tomorrow. They're boomed probably on Tuesday, so I'll probably stream Monday and finish it off by then. Oi, Rick. Sorry, Iro, enjoy. All right, so Iro, Iro gets in. We'll, we'll be good to Iro. Also, Sakura, I'm just going to tell you the quick piece of advice that I will, like, will sort you out for the remainder of your journey into the abyss. Please stop wasting your dash. It's like the most important thing about Genji is if you waste your fucking dash the way you have been, you're going to just get killed over and over again. Stop doing it. Unless it is guaranteeing a kill, fine. Which it isn't in most of these cases. But then after you get that kill, if you don't know where your next instantaneous kill target is, then just dash out and come back afterwards. You do not go in without dash. But your dash should not be used like before there is a guaranteed kill. Because you're supposed to actually be using it to finish people off. It's a it's a killing tool. It's not designed for you to just fucking willy nilly get yourself into a fight and get yourself killed over. All right, plat five. Hero, I swear this anything is better than what we just witnessed. I usually sense calculator for every game I play. Is that valid? If you're converting it from one to the other using the same sense, it's fine. Usually, yeah. Thought it would be good to engage with it. It is a killing tool. If you engage with it and you end up stuck in the middle of the enemy team, which you were, you're supposed to get killed instantly. But because you're in ELO heaven and people are just not, like... It's a killing tool. It's to get out. Well, it is. It's a reset, Zeph. What the fuck more do you want? Shut up. I'll cut you. I'll dash into you, then dash out. How's that sound? Man, Eero's got some plans. 
I think Eero oversold it a little bit. Dear Lord. I don't like that you're the only... There we go. I was going to say, where the hell is your tank? That's fine. It's fine. Don't go in, though. Just hang out here. Yeah. Cool. So, I feel like... Just so we're clear. There is someone hanging out over here, and they should be get killed. Like, you... You should have noticed this beforehand, and that would have actually, like, netted you some some goods. But, yeah. Because if you keep... If everyone keeps getting stuck in that doorway like that, of course it's going to end poorly. Correct play. Well done. Let's grab the health pack. Grab the health pack! Oh boy. Your aim desperately needs work. Whoa. You are not in the NBA. Do not try to throw your bomb like so. Just stick it to someone and then blink out or rewind out. Do not. Do not lob. Please. It's not a layup. Just stick it. But yeah, I don't think I don't think Hero realized that the wife lever was just hanging over there on his own. If you noticed that earlier, it's a free kill. And then that way he could have gone for the flank right around to kill them while they were in that doorway. I'm sorry, that guy changed from David to Rodog? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh wait, your teammate changed from Winston to fucking Zarya? What's going on? Peripheral vision is tough sometimes. It is, but it's, unfortunately it's my best trait. So I I like, I can barely see what's right in front of me, but I can see everything that's, like, off to the side of me but very well. Smile. This is why no crosshair is goaded. Don't know about that one. That dude's definitely... Yep, that dude's AFK. Nice kill. Eero's got no concept of flanking, unfortunately. All he does is fight front to back. Even when he looks like he's going to go for the flank, he, he like, makes sure that everyone is aware of his presence so they all turn straight to him and makes it impossible for him to actually flank anybody. It's crazy talk. Nice dash. You gotta be careful about getting like crossed up or spun up while while people are trying to jump past you, because you keep taking these really awkward like dash directions, like that. I don't know why we can't stick a tank. We sure as well can't stick a tank that has an on-demand steroid that makes them take 40% less damage either. Just stick a DPS or a support. Like sticking Ash would have been perfect here. Now you're just fucked. Oh, this. <laughs> Man, just forgot everything about the game of Overwatch. Just anyway, nope, I'm done. <laughs> I'm out. Everything has been spent. It is relatively useful, but it is only made worse by the fact that you are still giving away steps in between. It's just one of those things. It's just one of those things. Like, if you do it correctly, it will work out well for you. If you do not, it gets worse. I don't really recommend meleeing unless you are going to finish that entire clip off correctly. If you still have dash charges available, you should be actually using your dash as you reload so that it's, you know, no, no wasted movement, etc. He looked lost after the melee. He gets, he gets really spun up by people's movement around him. Like, he just loses his place. It's probably the fourth time he's done that. It happened a couple of times on that high ground spot when everyone was just hanging out. No one knew where to go. If you can't get to a point where you know that your dash will take you in a direction as long as you... Stop doing that! No 
no burn promise. Can't trust you. Also, the name's Omar, so I'm assuming it is a he. Honestly, though, Rubes, after that last thing, I understand why people would be afraid to tell you. You could have done that by being a little bit calmer. You would have just shot that Mercy in the back of the head four bullets over. No no issue at all. Like, no no worries, no nothing. You gotta just stop panicking. Can't assume. To be fair, I don't know any women named Omar. It does seem a bit bad, though, when you're playing Tracer and you get stuck and die with it. Like, you should definitely be able to rewind out of that. That's very sad. <clears throat> It's 2024. I can't imagine that going well. Please stop going in through the front! You are not on a SWAT team. Could be they. True. 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 You got me there. You are correct. It is a, it is a statistical rarity though. And I feel... I, I have some faith in the numbers. But I've been wrong before. So I will I will await... Yeah, that old man's just too busy being... He's just too busy cringing at the game that he is witnessing. You're not going to get a lot of uh, mileage attempting to... Don't you do that! No! Oh, man. I can't believe I just witnessed... Oh, I, I, no, no, no. Yeah, you earned that one. That was... That was... No, no. Oh, Chubby Chubbs is in his head, bro. He is way beyond in his head. The dude's in his dreams now. Young Hero's going to be having nightmares about the chubby chubs. Yeah, the fact that the Tracer just stands there and just goes, Nope. <laughs> and all of us are just like, Why? Oh, it was such a, it was such a silly move too. Like, you, you never, never stick out like a Tracer that's rezzing, man. It's like, Oh. You should have stuck the Mercy. If you were going to stick anyone there. But you could just shoot the Mercy as she's floating down. Like, you're, you're just overthinking it. You're just trying to dash straight in and do this shit instantly. Like, you've got time. The Bob. They spent Bob indoors there? Wow. Is, the rest of their team is literally dead, but you know what? It's fine. That needed to happen. Because at least you stuck the hog when his uh, breather was on cooldown, so I'll give you a point for that. Oh, man. This has been a fuck. This has been a roller coaster. Tracer did. Let's go. <laughs> He got his, he got his win back, chat. He got his win back. It only happened to be after everyone was dead and the timer was up. But he got his win back. He got it back. He so got it back. We are so back. The potential though, the potential. He's definitely got potential. He's just got to stop overthinking it. The poor lad's just losing his fucking mind, just like trying to run up on people with oopsie. Trying to run up on people like while that's all going down, you know? Like it's just it's just too much. It's too much trouble. These bloods need to hurry up. You're fucking right, Pandy. I'm ready to celebrate. I got my drink ready. What the hell? I'll tell her you're thinking about picking it back up. Pizza. If we do this right, we won't even know what happened. Has Oasis ever asked you for coaching? No. To be fair, though, <clears throat> um, I think there are other people that have just been more available to Oasis if Oasis ever wanted coaching. She's besties with Adam. We're all besties with Adam, mate. Adam's just too nice. <laughs> I 
I can, I can like technically say I coached Adam. Not like properly, but like I gave, I remember giving him advice a very long time ago when he was a Genji one trick. And that always makes me like, like happy in a way. But Adam's just that, that nice of a dude. He's growing up to be a good man. As far as, I've, as far as I've heard anyway. You know, at this rate, you could have just shot the fucking Torbjorn in the back of the head and it would have been way, way better for it, right? I'm trying to make myself the center of the universe one cell, or one cell out at a time. You could. <gasps> you are committing way too hard but with the re-dashing without rewind available. I do like that their that their tracer went Hanzo because your Hanzo was killing him as tracer. It's very funny. Please, Zero, just go for a flank. Like I need you to understand that like a flank is gonna win this for you. You can go literally anywhere around the back without attacking anyone on the way there. And then just using that time to go all the way, like, to just, like, just creep up and just kill somebody as the time comes. You need chips. Now, what kind of chips? What kind of chips? Hope you have good taste, Pandy, or I'm going to be unhappy. Oh, dear. You like eating, you should play D.Va. That's an interesting way to put it. I don't get what your intent is to just constantly go through the front door like this. Like, you could go any other way and this would be so easy. I really hate this 1v1 nonsense between these two fucking... Well, you did it correctly, so that's fine. It's a perfect stick. Please stop trying to shoot the turret. Just dodge it. That's why I can't quit smoking. True. What brand, Pandy? Dude almost spun himself up again. And then just stood there in front of... You, you had both cooldowns available. And you could have dodged out. Solid choices, Pandy. You, you get a pass. Red Rock if I'm feeling fancy. True. I don't understand why you play Tracer like a fucking frontline DPS. Like, you should just be playing Reaper if you're going to play like this. Does it end here? No, they still have a chance. Just just for reference, I'm just going to just outline this so you understand, right? When you play this point, you can literally go in from here up the stairs into the back. Or if you're feeling really nasty, you can go along this road right around the back and then just idle on this area and come out around here. These are all ways that you can use to flank. You have absolutely no business just running through the front every single time and just staying there and skirmishing on the point if you're going to do that just wait for your tank to engage and then join the fight but what you keep doing is just just, just insanely silly because it's just going to get you killed over and over again and it makes you rely on your tank too much you can just as easily be a self-sufficient dps if you are actually acknowledging flanks and off angles you are not doing that at all which rice chip rubes? That sounds amazing. What what fix what was the issue with Solus's PC? Why why did we dash straight into the Roadhog? Like what what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? What are you doing? 
Why would you ever think that going for Rodog is a good idea there? It's silly. Yeah, that works. I want snacks. I mean, I, I haven't even eaten all day, man. I'm fucking starving. Oh, the delights. Yeah, true, true. True. They have good sour cream and tribes ones. I really like them. Yeah. I thought you fixed that issue when we talked about it months ago, Pandy. You joking? That was still going on. There I go. They are pretty solid, yeah. They're very Moorish. You just never thought to adjust, to do the thermal paste trick, huh? Why is Roadhog your primary target? I mean, I get that he's low now. Oh, that was lucky. If he'd actually had yanked you in at that point, he would have been very dead. Hog is easy to hit. I mean, look, if you can't hit anything else, then sure, go for the hog. But... These, these tracer bombs are just so, so awful. Hey, you swapped the ball too. I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> I don't know why you're complaining. You also swapped the ball. The, the Hanzo sent it past the ball. <laughs> Man, this is a mess. Dude actually backed up into a fucking bomb again. Oh dear. Big revive? Jeez, this is still going. Wait, did they win? Hang on. Yeah, they won, because the other dude backed off too far. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Alright, where is my DMs with young Eero? Alright, Omar. Let, let's have it let's have a chat. So, 
This dude's too nice, by the way. I'm just going to read his first message to me. He says, Hi, how are you? So sorry for bothering, but I was wondering if you can help me. I really want to improve with Tracer. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing great, and some other games I play terrible. My aim feels off. And he, sa and he says, yeah, Thank you so much. I just read everything. This is the info, and so on and so forth. Your sense is so low. So your sense is 3.6 on 1,000 DPI. Truthfully, it's, n it's low but it's not incredulously low. Now, if you have the space, you should be able to use your arm to actually like, you know, navigate, right? It's not the worst thing in the world. But now the problem, the problem that you are experiencing here is actually, it's a little bit like weirder. Now, the first and foremost things, I, I assume that like, if your aim feels off, right? If your aim feels off, first and foremost, go to the gameplay settings in your thing and make sure that this is on, right? That's the first and foremost thing. You want to make sure that this thing is on. You hate when people don't use 200. Yeah. Uh, to make life easier, I also recommend either using 800 or 1600 DPI. I get what you're saying though, Rube. Don't worry. It's fine. I got you. But yeah, I recommend, I always recommend people use 800 or 1600 DPI just because it's the easiest to, uh, to sort of measure for sense in game. And plus it's the easiest one to transfer between titles. So if you change games, it makes life that much easier, right? Usually 800 or 1600 is the best way to go. But yeah, the problem is just that, um, is that when, when you get into like this this muddy territory of trying to like actually measure your sensitivity or measure like your things like that, like sometimes it gets a bit hard to actually uh, sort of figure out what's best for you. Um, if you don't have the mouse space and you have to use a higher sense, then like, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I definitely recommend making that space, right? That's the main thing to sort of look at. Now, if your aim feels off, I definitely recommend always doing some Vaxter training every day. So this code, I'm going to write it in stream chat, V-A-X-T-8. You do this in the custom workshop and you do training 30 minutes a day and so on and so forth. But your biggest issue isn't particularly aim. I think the problem is just more so positional awareness and just panicking because you're getting spun up way too hard when you're actually trying to go for people, right? So the problem is that, so as an example, I'm just going to go into the practice range and you have to excuse my terrible like wrist movement for that. But for reference, right, when you're actually trying to move past the target, you should be able to actually turn with a decent, like a decent ability despite that. Or like if you're going towards the target and you try and like spin despite that. If you're having trouble turning around, then like, yeah, it would be rather difficult, but you don't have that trouble turning around. The problem is you're worried about where the target is relative to you. So you're like struggling to actually spin towards the target. Although it appears my thing is skipping a little bit, but like, yeah, when you're actually like trying to like move between your targets or like you're trying to like change target, things like that, you're getting like incredibly spun up when you, when they're actually ending up behind you and you have to like turn around to make it do with your target. That issue is solved by actually taking approaches to fights better. And the best way to do that is to remember the blink range that you have. So standing on the 10 meter line, right? You blink just past the five meter line and just learn like the actual like dash range so that you never have to worry about lobbing for starters, right? So you can just easily just blink through, stick, leave. Or you can learn how to do you know, this is going to be really terrible of me. But like the idea is like you can actually press it as it's coming out. And you will be able to actually stick the target front on. Those are the things you want to be able to learn in process, right? If you keep if you keep panicking and like getting spun up in fights, you're going to immediately lose. And that issue is just caused by panic. Yeah, so it's easier to just plan out your way into a fight. But your problem is that you don't plan it out at all. You keep chasing your tank into a fight and then trying to run up past them to get a flank on the enemy. That does not work. Go all the way around, get a setup, figure it out from there. Keep it simple. Because the, the time where you like override it like so and just like get put yourself in these situations, you're going to lose every single time. 
even if your aim is god tier you're just like enabling the enemy to take a shot at you because you're standing in a very easy spot okay so yeah hope that helped mate and i hope to see you again very soon okay I feel like I played decent in that game and I'm watching this again. I feel stupid. Look, don't feel stupid, right? Because it's good to feel like it's it's good to feel good about the fact that you know you made an impact in a game because you were doing well. But the the mistakes that you make, right? I get that they're pretty heavy looking and they're pretty sad, especially like the lobbing of the of the tracer bombs. Like they're pretty sad. But like the major one, which is like you went to stick that tracer that had just been raised. That's just silly, right? That one you can feel a little bit stupid about. <laughs> but like the overarching thing, right, is that you've got the right idea. It's just your execution just needs work. And that's where good potential comes from. So work on that. Bring us back a VOD in the next season. I'll be watching. All right, mate? I'll be looking out for you. So definitely come back. Hope you enjoyed yourself today. Okay? Okay. Okay. No worries, Sakura, mate. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, despite the uh, the inherent silliness that, that went on today. Oh. Sorry about the burn. <laughs> That's a great burn, honestly. I can't... I can't... Uh... Oh, dear. But yes, I'm glad we all enjoyed ourselves. Oh. So, yes, today's stream is over. Are you watching your vote at any other time other than right after you played? It could be very helpful. It's true. But like sometimes you just miss things and that's what I'm here for. So you can definitely like turn out to my stream and get that sorted. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this stream today. I'll be back on the Monday. So Sunday night for you uh, NAEU folk. I know it's really late night there. I hope everyone enjoyed themselves. Now don't forget if you are wanting to get VODs in, the queue will be closed unfortunately until next patch, which is next Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, so definitely just keep an eye out for that. You'll be able to, uh, like, you know, you'll be able to figure that out. But, yeah, if you're looking for coaching or private coaching especially, you can find all that information in my uh, in my Discord or on my website, rack9.net. has all the information about the, the types of coaching that I offer, including prices. If you're looking for things like giveaways or coupons or things like that, you can find that all in the Discord, including the sale prices when they are enabled. There won't be one for a little while, but the main thing is that like you can at least see, at the very least, the giveaways have done monthly. So if you're looking for coupons for that, you should definitely get in on those. Um, if you are wanting to support my content, and you are very much enjoying it, please look into subscribing to the Patreon, patreon.com slash rec9. There is plenty of private VOD review content on there, up to, I think, 30 plus VOD reviews at the moment for Overwatch. And there are just stacked with other content there, including me reviewing myself on other games or just like just doing vlogs about all that kind of stuff. And also pictures of the cat because everyone loves my cat. My cat's an adorable little thing and you know, everyone loves to see that. So why not? Either way, all the VODs for this week's stream will be uploaded over the weekend. So just uh, be very careful for that. Yeah. Be very good. We need more new pictures. I've got some in the phone. I will, I will produce them momentarily. Do not worry, but yes, I hope everyone enjoyed themselves. Oh, again, I'll see you again Monday. Will be sell out only on Monday. So if you are not already in the queue, you will only be able to get in via selling out. But of course, you can always play roulette with uh, with Ruby's patience. So if you're interested in that, you can just ask her. <laughs> Either way, hope you all enjoyed. I will catch you again soon. Love you all. Best to you. Support the roast. Bye bye. Have a great weekend.